Live from San Antonio, Texas, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the building. We're in the building. The wolves is coming through. Hide the women and children. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy and I had a discussion a little while ago. About what? A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Not all of it's for air. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, nuance part of this show. See, I like for, for 16 years almost, I had a montage that I started off with. Oh, yeah. Montage? I've, what would you call it? Let me see that? if I can do it. A monologue? Any and all things Texas. But that all morphed organically. Right, but it took like a minute sometimes, Mike. It was a long little. It thing. It wound up being long. It was long, and it got to the point where I had to Pause. I had to take some stuff out, yeah, and put some was, new was, stuff in, or just delete some stuff and make it shorter. But I mean, the Cosby Show intro was long too. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. I mean, do, we, do, do, do. we didn't know he was drugging females. Okay, let's not focus on that. Let's oh. focus on America's dad, Bill Cosby. I mean, it was, no, first I of all, I mean, I that can't, was a long intro. It was hella long, but they were jamming. Yeah, you well, feel me? my point is the nuance part of this show. Yeah, things like that. I'm big on doing it organically, and I'm also not smart enough or creative enough to write bits that 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 shine right off the top. I need whatever we wind up doing as a show here in the coming, hopefully, years. From a, from a montage standpoint, monologue, bits, yeah, all stuff we shit. do, all that needs to happen organically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be written. We can't sit down and be like, all right, let's come up with it. It just has to happen. Yeah, I'm too lazy to do it and not talented enough to do it. So let's just do a show every day and, and it's going it to do what it does. The great Ray Charles. I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. It's going to do what it do. Absolutely. Just let it happen. And that's the way it's going to be. Thank you for Am watching. I in the right frame, LG? Do you like where I am? Uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. You sure? Because yeah. earlier you had me scoot over, and I was like, oh, this is different. Explain Garfield's presence in, in Rudy's Garfield? corner, right, corner, right behind you. Garfield works the pole. Garfield's a bad bitch. Oh, okay. I didn't know Just this. some 80s nostalgia, man. I okay. found that oh, okay. in the garage. Oh, it's not know? a strip club thing? Nah. You nah. just wanted to stick Garfield is on Is Garfield the a dude? Y'all don't remember Garfield's those things? Dude. Those things were everywhere in the Garfield's 80s. Garfield's no, a dude. but it's, we're in 2024. Is it a them, they, he? He. You sure? He, him. Garfield, oh, Garfield's, man. A Garfield's a they. No. Nah. I don't think so. Y'all not going to let me take Garfield unless down the floor now? Unless Garfield no? got neutered. Garfield, Wait, do you should... neuter cats? What do you do to cats? Well, it depends on, you neuter male cats. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, cats yeah, get neutered. Cats. Okay, same thing. Like but he's dogs. still a dude. Even if he gets snipped, you're still a dude. Aren't you snipped? Can't you? Yeah, but you. No, I don't have my balls taken out, though. No. I did not know this till last year. They actually remove the testicles of dogs and cats when they do yeah, that. Yeah, see, that's I why. I didn't know that. That's why dogs do be depressed. Dog do, do, dudes that are dogs, they're mm -hmm. depressed. Like, that's unfortunate. Imagine if I took your balls. No, I'd kill myself. What good is a man without a set of balls? Um, you can't do that to a guy. Unless yeah, he wants it done. Yeah, hell of a, a hell of a good choir singer, that's for sure. There have been cases of guys that wanted to get their balls taken away, and that's fine. That's cool. I'm cool with yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there was a guy that was in prison. Was uh, it in this state? Where he actually asked the judge to order him to be castrated because he was a child molester. And he and wanted, he wanted to, to take the all of his sexuality away. But I don't think it works that way scientifically in your, in your fucked up psychotic brain. They can't cut your balls off. You're still going to have the thoughts. But you don't get aroused, are you? Can I don't you get aroused not. without balls? No, no, you can't do anything. Because the testosterone, it just, it's, the blood don't flow. But the bl blood still flows to your schlong, don't it? I don't think so. I don't think it does. I don't know. Oh. LG, look that up. Can I get an erection with no balls? I'm going to say yes. I, I really I'm don't gonna say know. yes. That's blood. Now, I don't know. I don't you can't, know. You can't come. Yeah, I don't know if you can get There's hard. Nothing's. Though. I don't think you can. And what is he going to do? There's no climax. That's. There's no orgasm. That all comes in the from the, from the balls, right? I think you can orgasm without jizzing. Really? You no. sure about that, man? That's women, never happened to women me. Women have orgasms without jizzing. Yeah, but they're made differently. Oh, it's a lot harder. Well, there's a lot of squirters out there. 
Rudy? I mean, since we're getting we're into this, there. <laughs> so there are. Well, it's a it's a lot hard. According to Google, <laughs> after removal of both the testicles, yeah. the levels of testosterone in the blood fall quickly. Yeah. This will affect your ability to get an erection. You will need to have testosterone replacement therapy. Wow. Okay, so Jesus your body's man. not naturally going to get an erection without some sort of science. Con- con- so you can't in. get hard. No, not without what he just said. Well, then said. that means that the jail dude was right. He needs to get his balls cut. Okay. Also, he won't think about little boys. All right, to bring it back to the original point, yeah, yeah I think that's what happened. And yes, I, I, science! And did they actually castrate him? Did they allow this to happen? I would I'm all for it. I would have. I'm all for it. I mean, hell, we throwing away the key for fentanyl. Shouldn't I, we throw away the key for men that like little boys, too? I think we should execute child molesters. So you want to... Like in Huntsville... Yeah. Fuck yeah. You're I'm not, a repeat I'm down. child rapist? I'm down. You I'm should down. be executed. I'm down. Okay. There it is. High five on that. <laughs> yeah, high five. But you want to feel like King Kong. I'm for the public execution of people. <laughs> Maybe not the public execution, but the execution. How did you feel the first time you made someone squirt? You felt like King Kong, didn't you? Squirt or have an orgasm? Squirt. That's different. Uh, I've never been with that. A sitch. woman can put you in place to get her. Yes! Have you had that yes! happen to you? Yes! I'm not going oh, there. Oh, Does this go oh, all over your legs and stuff? Oh I've heard it's pee. Trickles down your, oh. your uh, sack. Some people it's not say pee. Some people say it's piss. No, it's it's no, it's it's just there's some women have a lot of liquid in there. I heard it's piss. I don't think it is. LG Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think yes, it's urine. Is no. when a woman comes, is it pee? Or is My it just search history is gonna be objective? That's okay. I don't think it's urine it don't smell like i think it. it's a buildup of clear liquid a lot of that stuff that comes yeah yeah it's just clear liquid that some women overproduce <laughs> i think that's what's going on and it gets compacted in there so it just kind of farts out according to the national institute of health okay okay let's get to the bottom of this Squirting is essentially the involuntary emission of urine during sexual activity. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So it is Although right. there is a marginal contribution of prostatic secretions in the fluid. That's what I was marginal. Prostatic mostly secretion. urine. Well, I've seen porn where that happened. So then why don't you just make and her it's piss not like, on you then? It's not yellow. It's always like clear. It's not it doesn't come out golden unless she's got a good diet, so she's got championship pee. You know what championship pee is? That means you're drinking a lot of fluids. Yeah, Tom water. Herman. Like uh, Tom Herman made UT players. They and Jeff had to Trailer see too. the pee. Jeff Trailer Does has Taylor, it. Trailer do that too. He has it. Like when I went to the race track, mm-hmm. there's a pee chart in their restroom. Oh, it says good teammate, bad teammate, great teammate, shitty teammate. Not shitty, mm-hmm. but if your pee is like dark yellow, Trailer considers you a shitty. Teammate. Yeah, you're eating bad. You're eating bad. Too much you're drinking beer. soda and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too Come much on. weed. Okay. So I guess girls that are going to do porn that do that are told, hey, man, you need to go on a plant-based diet for 30 days before the movie. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I'm So then just take a golden shower. Just have her piss on you. No, we ain't doing that. I'm fine with that. That happens naturally in that that moment of climax. But when it's happened, you felt like a king. But I ain't trying to lay down and let somebody do that on me. It was warm. But like a king? Yeah, I mean, I want to satisfy my lady. I want my lady to be satisfied. Well, we don't have to be specific. No, I don't but want I mean, you to no. Get in trouble at home. I don't have any issues with that. No, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, oh, and my okay. lady's fine. I just want my lady to be satisfied, and if she is, that's but that's because you're older. About. In your twenties, you just in and out. No, I know. I've always that my my ego always. You've always been a pleaser. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe okay. in some cases, maybe too much so. But no, not not even just sexually. Yeah, but, um, I what man doesn't get an ego boost or feel good about himself when he. If a woman's gonna let your ass, my ugly ass, do things to her like You're that, actually that, handsome. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to get my. I haircut. would tell you if you were ugly. Thank you, man. I'm looking to get a haircut. I can't wait. Look at this. I'm so tired of looking at my shaved side with a long ass bullshit. What are you gonna do? You have to let it grow out a while. No, no. To I'm, get it I'm right. getting it cut this today after the show. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it cut short. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? What's the bet? It's been a week. No, uh, full week of this show. I thought that was the deal. No, no, a week after the cut. That's why we yeah, did it last bad. week. You can go a whole week of shows. I am nah, cutting you it today. Should, nah, you should you should wait. No, I'm not waiting. I'm cutting it today. I already have an appointment and everything. And you had the easy one too. This this is ridiculous. No, I, I, that wasn't my fault. L- yours yours isn't even that bad. You didn't even get a real mullet. LG, I had people hit me up. 
what the fuck's up with Lauren that didn't know the bet. Oh like, yeah. What the fuck's up with LG's hair? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, my brother. Hey, look how mad that is right now. Yeah, my brother hit me up like, hey man, I've known LG a while. You know Lou. And he's like, what's up with his hair? I was like, man, 3,000. I, I explained 3,000 subscribers. They made a deal. I had to explain. My guy was worried about you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to Lou. You look like yeah. Korean emperor dictator Kim Jong-il. That's you know, racist. It's, it's or actually, his son, That's mm. racist as fuck. It's really difficult it, to get this why, hair to why sit does, like this. He does look like that. He doesn't look like Kim Jong-il. He doesn't look like Kunta Kinte. He looks like. What the fuck? He, How did Kunta Kinte enter the chat? He look, he's an Asian man, <laughs> he, and his hair is cut is that like roots. Is that roots? No, roots? You're, asking, you're saying that's racist? Give that's not us racist. Free. He's an Asian man. Fuck? Look at his hair. He looks like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> that's not racist. He really does look like that. If he didn't, if, if I said, if he was a white guy and I said it, it might be racist, but he's actually Asian, so it's fine. Oh, man. He's all kinds of Asian. Didn't yeah. we, we went through the list yesterday. Yeah, we, we, he's got like we've four down nations. And he's Irish. And What's Irish. That? And he's Irish. Well, he My like, background's a whole look, other show. You don't look like St. Patrick. You look like Kim Jong-un. Yeah, Jong but there's no way he's Irish because he don't even drink. He is Irish. I know not he lately. is, but he don't drink. He's, he's just not good at it. He doesn't have enough. And that's stereotypical of me to call all Irish people. You call me racist. You just not all, all Irish, Irish are, are drunks. drunks. Yeah, yeah. That's what you no, do. I used to drink all the time. So Yeah, okay. he had to cut down because his liver was saying, hey, man, we're, we're good. It's time yeah, to take same. a tap out. Me too. <laughs> One too many times. I, I don't drink out. during the week. Yeah, that's LG it. would black out. So he had to cut down. That's why I stopped drinking whiskey. That stuff makes me forget. And Tequila I've seen you. Forget. I, I can tell you things that you don't remember because I was there when you and you wound up blacking out later that evening. When you gritoed into nowhere. Oh, y'all, y'all blew that out of proportion. I wasn't even drunk that night. I did not black out that night. Last time I blacked out was in Tokyo. Jeez. Oh. 2020, <clears throat> right before I, the pandemic. You woke up the next day with zero memory of the previous night? Yeah, because the bar's open till 5 a.m. That's Damn. normal. Do you remember gritoing into Yeah, into I remember nobody? all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I gritoed at the, the girl that was uh, singing karaoke. Yeah, and she was singing a real soft, like, Taylor Swift melody, and you just... <laughs> No, yeah, 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 that's yeah. not what that's, I did. And she had to stop mid song. I didn't do. I didn't do better. the Mexican grito either. I did the other grito. Can you grito? No, Are I you did. Sure, I did. No, this. I can't grito. My voice is too deep. I was gonna say it's gonna come out. Oh, yeah. Holla at me if I'm drunk. <laughs> Only time I can really try. Even you can't get tip. high. No, I can't get high. I, what's the highest you can get? Dude, I'm I'm James Earl. I know. I don't I know. know. I don't. What's the? Here, let's hear the lowest version of Reed. low. How low you want me to go? Oh, hang on. I'm going to touch myself. I'm gonna do watch it out, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> what are we talking about today? <laughs> no, I mean, so you can't go, ah. Oh. See, I, no, my I can't voice is deep, but not yours. No, you're, no my, our voices are both the same. You have a baritone, dude. You have, yeah, I can't yeah. do that. No, I have to force it. Oh, it sounds stupid. See, if I've been drinking, maybe. This is cigars and whiskey, buddy. <clears throat> so, yeah, if I, if I like smoke. the great Charlie Parker used to tell me. Charlie Parker, he's got that gravelly Yeah, c- cigarettes and, 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 and whiskey. You have that baritone that's nice to listen to. Charlie's got that terrible break glass voice. <laughs> Damn. You have that. You've got that that, that narrator's. Like, I don't want to hear Charlie read me a book. I want to hear you read me a book. So I should apply it audio books? I, dude. I mean, right I've now, well, that's so poor. I've heard pain in the ass. I've been asked by two local authors to voice books. How much did they want to pay you? Not enough. So that's why you didn't do it? Right. I don't have time. Yeah, no, that's but time you, consuming. Again, that's one of those ones I would price it so high, hoping they say no. Mm-hmm. But if they said yes and the yeah. price is right, I'd do it. Yeah, and I wanted to because I think it would be cool to put on my resume that I read books. Like, Can you imagine me reading Fifty Shades of Grey to some old single woman? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'd be squirting everywhere. Oh, shit. I smell right some members. Content right there. See Rudy reads saying? books. Hang on, I'll write these all down. I got, I'm, I'm making. I have a running list here. Rudy reads books. That could be members only content. A little Rudy after dark. What do you want me to say though? I'm not good at. We're gonna. We're, I'm not a good sexter. Well, no. We're gonna bring you a copy of something to read called in the, the gray way. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. We're just have you read it. That'd be badass. So seventy thousand dudes. Yeah, but then we'll ship it off to like publishing companies and see if we can't get some revenue for this show. I'm, we got to make we need Let's money, dude. It. We Let's have the best it. show in Texas, and we don't have any money, so we got to get that changed. We, and it's about get, we got to get our word out there. We got to get we yeah. got to let people know that we're there. This is a show, and let them hear it. New people, our our regulars, we love you hard, right? 
And hard. We, we, we appreciate it. Thunder Dombers and all of our new people and listeners, people you brought, we're so happy you're here, but we need we, we need thousands of people that don't even know who we are yet to, right. to join this thing if it's going to be what we want it to be. Right. Which well, is help us out by becoming any, a member. Well, yeah, help us out Gosh, by becoming a Subscribe, it. it's free. Become a member for only six bucks a month. And you'll get all the members only exclusive content. Come on, you cough up a bucket. And make us bastard. look good with our clients that we already currently have, right. such as Texas Cheer Liquor. Let's talk about it. Make us look good. We are first ever remote Let's in the building. I didn't think we'd have a remote so soon. This is great. No, AD don't play around. No, AD man. likes so, to jump in no. while AD knows to get in while it's cheap. <laughs> right. Well, that's the yeah. Hopefully, in a year, he won't yeah. be able to afford us anymore. Oh, he'll be able. I, look, I've seen the I've seen the sales. He can always afford us. Oh, really? Liquor, well, liquor's recession proof. No, I'd like to get to a point where McDonald's and Valero. But I mean, I'm never going to forget our OGs. Well, if, if he's well, grandfathered if, in, we'll never raise right. rates. I was kidding. I will. But I want to get to the point where, yeah, I mean, this is this is the time where we need the money. So. Hit, holla at your boy, Mike Taylor show at gmail.com or shoot me a DM. But thank God for Texas Cheer Liquor. They're already in. We're going to be at one of the nine locations. It's number nine, actually. It's over yeah. on 1604 in Culebra, uh, right. um, at, inside the Culebra Common Shopping Center. And we're going to do our regular time, 11 to 1, which is, you know, it's a weekday at 11 a.m. So if you have a lunch break and you're over that part of town or you're off that part of the day, or take the day off and come hang out with yeah, us. Yeah, man. Why not? You and honestly, see. this is the grassroots part of this show. I, right. In five years, when you and I are millionaires, I'm going to be an asshole. I ain't going to hang out with nobody. I'm going to do my show and go home. But right now, I'm going to be the man of the people because I need their money. That. I'm fine <laughs> so with that. I'm fine with Thursday, that. I'm down with that. It's 11 to whenever we get done. And as long as there's people there that want to hang, I'll stick around for two hours after it's over. Matter of fact. What's up? Talk to I, him. I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm almost ready to challenge. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to issue a challenge to some to Thunderdomers. Okay. A challenge. A push-up challenge. I'm just, I'm trying to come up with ways to get people to come out to our remotes. So I'm going to, I'm going to brag by showing you my pull-up abilities. Okay. Which I think you were impressed. I was. Okay. I was shocked. Okay. I was shocked. All right, and I'm, I'm going to lead back into Texas Cheer. Roll this tape. This is at Heavy Metal Fitness last week. We were over there hanging out because Rudy knows the owner, and I wanted to meet that guy, a guy called Tim. What up, Oh, Tim? my God. That guy is a brick shithouse. Yeah, I, he is. I've never, I, he's, he and Doc Garrett are the two most in-shape human beings I've ever seen in this town. Anyhow, this is – so I – in jeans – was challenged to do pull-ups at Heavy Metal Fitness. Let me see this shit. I've never seen Can you video. not do one? I can't do it out of band. We got to get that changed. I'm just too big. Well, I, my little toothpick on I mean, I've lost a shit ton of weight, but it's you still have. Yeah, but it's still tough to right, get so up. Roll the, roll the video. This is me doing pull-ups at uh... <laughs> Gut hanging out. There's no gut. Look at that. Let's go, Mike. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Four. Get that fifth one. Get uh, bucket. Let's get six. Let's get six. Six. Let's get seven. Oh, I almost got seven. Six. <laughs> Dude, I was surrounded by giant humans. I had to rep you had to my little skinny Once ass. you got up there and your front and the, and the, the camera's rolling and yep. then there's other giants in there. Yeah, us in I call, here. I call them sidewalk cracking motherfuckers. Oh, that's a good way to. Yes, <laughs> that's what, uh, I like that. That's what. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here I, in I the room with that. us, I probably couldn't do three. But in public, like yeah. oh, shit, they're looking at me. My ego takes over. So I'm like Johnny Manziel. No one shows up. I'm not any good. Yeah. The lights are bright. There's a red carpet. It's on national TV. I'm I'm gonna beat Alabama. That's weird. That's the way I've always been cut. I need the, like the brighter the lights, the better I am. It's just ego, and I'm pre I feel pressure. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing I feel the wrong pressure. with that. I throw touchdowns when the lights are bright. So then you want people to come <laughs> I just out. Suck the rest of the So time. you want people to come out and do push ups? No. We, well, yeah, I do. Yeah, we don't have a pull up bar at Texas Cheer. Right. And so a couple of people seen that that for I know. For some swag. We'll got some stuff to give away tomorrow. And they so were we'll like, do it for some swag. I some could do 10 pull ups, pussy. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not claiming to be a pull up champion. No. Can you do push ups, though? I was going to ask you. I that. can do some push ups. That's Fuck what we're yeah. morphing into. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you going to ask me like that? I'm just asking. What the hell? We're getting again. Part of the first couple of CT months of this flexion, show yeah. is us getting to know each other. Yeah. No. We Can get you to do know. push ups? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. LG can do push ups, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How many can y'all do without stopping? Fuck. Can you do fifty? Maybe. Without stopping. A full push up. Fifty? No. Penis has to touch the floor and up. Well, then and I ain't down. gonna be doing push ups. 
I'll just be standing straight. I'll just be up on up okay. in the air. Okay. There's there's a black man addendum here. No, I'm kidding. You're, okay. That's a, that's a false narrative. Chat anyway. it has to be con. Uh, yeah. I've been in the Cowboys locker room. It's not false. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Where are we today? God damn. I've seen them. We need to get you. Yeah. Yo. So regular military style. Push-ups. Yeah. I think I can get 25. All right. I challenge Thunderdomers to come out and show us. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it on the let's air do and deal with it. All right, let's do yeah, it. And All we right. got some other shit, too. You want me to read it? Because I also plan on drinking. So let's do this before well, we, we do doing? the drinking. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because we got drinks for sure. All right, yeah. what, I have a screenshot. So at Texas Cheer Thursday for our, our remote. Manana. God, it is tomorrow. It's Good tomorrow. Lord. Shit. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Is, God, yeah. Lord. All right, Weller 12. Oh, these are four allocations here he's going to give away. For retail price, which you just can't find anywhere. At all. Because the, bur- the, the bourbon yeah. hunters have fucked up bourbon prices. Have they? Yes, because it's Overpaying? like the shoe game. It's like the oh, shoe game. Oh, yeah, they're buying, yeah. That's why motherfuckers are sleeping outside of certain liquor stores when their allocations ah, drop. They've upped the curve And then they, they go and buy them retail, and then they go and sell them to the dudes that want to show off to their buddies on Sundays. Oh, okay. Like, hey, dude, I just got the Weller 12. Yeah, this guy sold it to me for 300 bucks. So that's why the bourbon game. So don't come into Texas. You're bitching about bourbon prices. Bitch at the bourbon hunters. But okay. let's talk about the four bottles. Well, they don't have to bitch tomorrow. Okay, these, let's talk okay. about it. Weller 12, 59 bucks. That's the retail but price. But you got to come in and say, I want the Weller 12 if someone hasn't yeah, already you beat you. ask for it. Yeah, there's Specifically, yeah, just one. Yeah, right. Weller 12. Yes. You have to come in. Yeah, I, yeah, we don't want to get some guy who happens to show up that doesn't know we're there. Right. No, no, come no. In there can't and be say, a random. I want that Weller 12. Yeah, it can't be a random. Because I heard Rudy say it. All right. Weller 107. Sixty nine bucks. That's also a, that's also a three hundred dollar bottle. Damn, Eagle Rare, forty nine bucks. That's almost two hundred dollar bottle. Explain this to me. Texas Cheers Special Barrel, a dollar. Buffalo Trace. Oh, they got a their dollar? own. Yeah, Texas Cheer got their own Buffalo Trace barrel coming, mm-hmm. and he's gonna sell it to the person that asked for it for Whoa. a buck. But so, you have to come in and say that. I want the Texas Cheer Special Edition All Buffalo right. Trace. I'll post barrel. this when we get off the air today. I'll post this on social. Wait, a whole a barrel? No, you ain't getting the barrel. You're getting oh, the bottle. Okay. Yeah, Shit, yeah, yeah. No. yeah he's he's getting the barrel, but he's going to give away a bottle. There you go. For yeah. a dollar. A dollar. Yeah. Dude. I've I've had, I've, I've never had I've Eagle. had I've had Have all three. Had, I haven't had the te- had? Texas Cheer uh, Buffalo, okay. but I've had all other three. What do you like better, Weller or Eagle Rare? Or Buffalo? I like the 107. Okay. AD was giving that out at his baby shower. His baby shower. Mm-hmm. His first son's baby shower, yep. owner texture liquor. Yeah, it was some fucking coming to America, King of Zamunda shit. <laughs> this is the dopest fucking baby shower I've ever been to in my. Oh, life. oh. it was dog. Oh, the Indians know I'm how to talk, party. I'm talking about they throw a fucking party. Yeah, dog. It you ever been to an di- Indian wedding? So I got. It's woke, like six days. No, I'm at. I'm I gotta at, get some sleep, yo. I'm at cigar. Okay, week. they don't do that, yeah. dude. I'm at cigar week in Houston, right? <laughs> and. uh... <laughs> I hear these drums outside my window, and I'm like, what the fuck? What is their drums? I look out my window. It's an Indian wedding, and there's fucking zoo animals. Like, it was yeah, the craziest yeah, wedding goats, I'd ever zebras. seen. Yeah. Yeah. Giraffes and, and shit. And doesn't the, doesn't the bride yeah. have to change like six times? I don't know. I mean, by the time the night's over, ain't nobody making no babies till the next day. Maybe yeah. we're going to go sleep. I don't blame you. I don't know how many times they change, but they God, partied. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we Anywho. got good ass whiskey too. Mr. Singh does. All right. So, well, speaking of great whiskey, you're mm-hmm. wearing, go to Mike real quick, LG. Chris mm-hmm. Stapleton, speaking of Texas Cheer Liquor, we have the Traveler at Texas Cheer Liquor, oh, which look is, at that. I'm which on is, brand. Yeah, I'm on point. Which is Chris Stapleton yeah, and yeah. Buffalo Trace Distillery did a collaboration. Correct. So that ain't on sale tomorrow, but it is on sale at Texas Cheer Liquor. It's called Traveler. Yeah. And it's not, it's what, 39 bucks? It's only 39 bucks. Yeah, and it's yeah, damn yeah. good. I've gone through two bottles already. Oh, you have? I haven't yeah, tried it shit. yet. All good right, shit. cool. All right, so push-up challenge, then yeah. we drink, then we toast. Everybody that shows up tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to get a toast because y'all are pe- people that like yeah. this show or have followed us from our previous stops to this thing that if, I want to show y'all love. This is actually, yeah. it's a remote to promote us and because we, sure. we got to get the word out that we're a show now. But this really is... Tomorrow, and I'm not, I'm I'm not trying to be cheesy, but I mean this. This is a this is a chance to thank Thunderdome, um, who whatever you want to call our new listeners. I don't know Thunderdome. We can stay with Thunderdome. I don't whatever. Shit. You support this show. I want to say thank you. So For we're sure. inviting you out to Texas Cheer so we can all take a toast. And if you wind up, you're the guy that rolls in there and gets that Buffalo Trace for a dollar. You ought to share. <laughs> I mean, come on now. 
well, at least with me and Rudy and LG, and we'll we'll give you a nice toast. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I'm I'm hyped. Yeah. I'm hyped for this Y'all show. Come out and support tomorrow. I'm thrilled. Um, I'm tired. I mean, I'm we're out hustling this show, trying to get the yeah, word out there. Got to. I think we're uh, the Express News. I don't know when that's going to drop. We Not got a sure. thing on us coming out in the paper. SA Current did something on us, which I appreciate that. They didn't call us. They just took our little press release and used that, which is fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I appreciate the love. Spread <laughs> the word. Um, tell your people. We want to take this show to 10 more levels from now. But it starts with now making us as good as we can get right this minute. And then we can build up from there. All right. All right. Is there a dog fight going oh, yeah, on I in the hall? I think there was a dog fight. I was like, damn, what was that? I thought it was LG's chair. All right. So that's it. Um, come out tomorrow. We'll be there at 11. The show will go at least two hours, but I'm going to stay as long as there's people that want to hang out. Sure. Or unless Mr. Singh just kicks us out. He ain't kicking Either nobody one. out. Either Either one. Like spend the money. Yeah, he ain't one. kicking nobody out. All right. So let, let's, let's, let's start the show. Um, Shit, we have. Oh, I mean, let's, this is let's the best this. 20 minutes of the show right there. I don't say that. They're going to punch you out. I'm fucking with you. Uh, well, we're going to make it good. You know how? How? Because I'm going to because I'm going to go to rule number one when it comes to doing talk shows. <laughs> not, not, oh, no. Now, our no. personal one is make it all about us. But when I was studying how to do talk radio years and years and years ago. Yeah. Rule number one at my first big stop, which was, was Mickey it? Dallas, ESPN radio. Rule ESPN. number one was when in doubt, talk Cowboys. How about well, you were in Dallas. But shit, that's Stephen A's rule. Well, see, that's Get Up Tony. rule. That's, that's Skip Bayless rule. That's, that's everybody's rule. You ain't talking Cowboys. You ain't you ain't trying to generate ratings. So we're going to talk Cowboys a little bit more today. Yeah. And it's just, it's that it's that shitty time of the year that we go through every year at this time. Because where, the Cowboys are out. Because <laughs> they're out, where it's like we look at all who's left and yeah. compare them to the Cowboys and get depressed because the Cowboys don't have what these teams have and don't do the things that these teams do. Right. Whether it's talent-wise or philosophical or not having the bullshit circus that we have to put up with as Cowboys fans. <laughs> yeah. Where, I mean, I've got I've got Dak Prescott's fucking D-back brother once again, Tad. Who And Tad, Tad, I'm not shocked because Tad's, Tad's been doing this for years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, years. He's always, yeah, he's Bitch. always come to his brother's defense. But now we I got, would, too. If, my brother was, if I was on my brother's payroll, I'd be talking shit, too. Yeah, but it's it's so much, and it's over the top too much. But And he always tags Dak, and Dak clearly doesn't care. Right. Or Dak would have told him to cool it. Uh, but shit, this week we got Mike, Micah Parsons' brother. Yep. Uh, we got Lita Lamb, the mother of CD. Talking shit about Dak. Basically, I mean, talking shit about Dak and now her baby should go to Houston and play with CJ Stroud. Dak Prescott sucks. Okay, this is what we deal with at this time of the year as Cowboys fans. That's Bullshit. Why you, because you we're, not, drink, we're not playing. When you drink, you should close your Twitter. You should close your Twitter if your son plays quarterback for the Cowboys or if your son plays wide receiver. You think so? Dude, you can't have My that. mom's going to defend me. But it's to the, My mom will defend me. But would your mom defend you by throwing me under the bus and saying Rudy needs to get away from Mike Taylor? Uh, no. And make it hard for you to go to work? No. That's, oh, that's what, damn, what, what the hell what, 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 oh, We still no. good? We good? Okay. Well, I got uh, a weird sound. Weird sound. I'm going to keep going. What I cannot have is... Family members making it hard for them to go to work. Like, I work with this guy. Even if right. maybe CD's told his mom, I don't think that's it. You, you, you can't tweet that. They need to handle that in-house. I'm, I'm sure he told had a conversation with Mama CD. Come here, LG. I'll let you yeah, know what like, I'm hearing. Yeah, you can't. What the hell's going on? I don't hear it. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, hey, oh, there we go. We got it back. There we go. Nah, I'm sure My he bad. had a conversation with his mom. Like, Mom, you can't I do hope that. so. I'm, about to, I'm trying to get $30 million. Right. I'm trying to get so, $30 million and. Dak is protect. Dak is the equivalent of a made man, and what I mean by that is you have to get permission from Jerry and Stephen. You have to get permission to kill a made man, a la Goodfellas. But I don't it's think. Like the, but I don't you think can, Dak, you can't. If if CD really wants to continue this beef, yeah, at some point he's going to be the guy that gets whacked. How many Jones members though are going to make that call? Hey guys, could y'all not do that? Could you tell your mom please don't do that? They're not going to make that call. It's a fucking circus. The point is, all I know is this wouldn't be happening if Dallas was playing this week. No. um, No. No. We wouldn't have no one. Th- it'd be all wonderful. Sh- everybody loves everybody. But it's, 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 it's rinse and repeat. Playoff meltdown. Mm-hmm. I got to watch San Francisco play other teams. I got to sit there and think about the Cowboys and how they match up with these teams that are still playing. 
talk about why it's these Day. why these franchises excel and Dallas never does. It's Groundhog Day all over yeah. again. It's to the point now, and of course, in the expectations this year, I allowed myself to trust them a little bit. You know, but you thought they were going to Vegas. I no, I thought they were going to lose in San Francisco in this game this week. This is why I thought the Cowboys. Me too. And so did Troy Aikman, by the way. Aikman said last night at some speaking engagement he had, he still believes in Dak, and he he thought the Cowboys were going to play because they're done. He and Joe Buck, they're done. They don't have any more games to call. So rather than schedule a vacation this week, Troy's first free week in eight months, he thought, well, the Cowboys are probably going to be in San Francisco. So Aikman did not book. Well, you know, let's get into this. Aikman, let's do it. This is Troy Aikman at this speaking engagement of the Metro Six yesterday. You have this. This is Troy talking about um, Cowboy struggles and, and same back, old, yeah. typical bullshit. Uh, hold on, panic. Do, do, do. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're having all sorts of issues. It's all good. On in the building. It happens. There you go. Oh, look at Troy. Still handsome as ever at 58 or whatever he is now. Overrated some bitch. I'm not, I didn't hear that. Uh, pretty shocked, yeah. In fact, I did not. <laughs> my season ended last weekend uh, with the divisional round, and, and so I'm free this weekend, and, and I really anticipated that Dallas would be playing in the championship game, and Figured that it would be in San Francisco, so I, I was planning on going to the game. Didn't book a vacation after my season, and so I, I really liked this team all year long. Thought they were really talented. I thought Green Bay could give them some problems. Uh, I get a chance to see all these teams. Matt Lafleur is outstanding. I thought that I thought he'd have some things that gave him a chance, and he clearly did. But I thought that the Cowboys would. Uh, I thought they'd separate themselves there in the second half, and it didn't happen. It was just. You know, it's the it's the same old story, and I and I don't mean that as a criticism. It's just when I'm asked about the Cowboys as to why they have struggled, they've played, they've put together some really great regular seasons, and they just have not, for whatever reasons, played their best football when the games matter most. And you know, that's that's what you have to do. I mean, that's the key to winning in the postseason and, and then getting to the Super Bowl. So. What the answer to that is, I'm not sure. Troy, I know. You do know. Okay. You know. And see, that's... <laughs> For whatever reasons, they don't ever go anywhere to play That's tiptoeing. Okay. He can't throw... My, I guess, <clears throat> again, he's family. He's family, he's but family, he's also... So he, can't, he can't throw Dak under the bus. He can't throw McCarthy under the bus. He can't throw Micah Parsons in the defense under the bus. So he just kind of says, well... It keeps happening, but Troy, you know enough football to know why. But it goes beyond Dak. Emmett will tell you why. He goes to Romo. Emmett will. Yeah, Emmett doesn't have a eighteen million dollar a year network Monday night playoff football gig. You know. True. Emmett <sighs> sucked on TV. Anyway, yeah, go I, ahead. I, I love Emmett, but yeah, he sucked on TV. He did. It's cool. That's, That's Emmett. No, That's fine. I, I, I would probably suck on TV. I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, man, I just what we don't need is. <clears throat> Family members of the three most high-profile dudes on the teams, family bitching about one another. It's not. It's not professional. It's Y'all not. know each other's phone number. Quit and, being a pussy and call somebody. I think everyone. You know who's the best at it and has every reason to be on Twitter or Instagram talking shit. Hmm. LeBron's wife. Hey, Never Twitter heard world. a peep from her. All the shit her husband takes. The father of her children. The reason why she lives the life she lives. Never heard a peep from her. And that just goes to show that she's a grown-ass she lady. It. Her and LeBron have had the and talks. Like, baby, don't worry about it. Right. Again, I've heard, from, so. I've heard from Steph's wife. I've heard from Brady's wife when he was married. He can't throw it and catch it. Savannah's never said a word. Yeah, her ass and got, she has she every, got dumped pretty quick after that, though, didn't she? Giselle. Well, well she dumped him. She left him for <laughs> a Taekwondo <laughs> trainer. I, I think was like, damn, fine. we all had a shot at the Taekwondo trainer. I think Tom's it. doing okay. It's that's so cliche. It's always the tra- if you run off and you leave your husband for your trainer, then he don't need to be with you anyway because you ain't nothing but a fucking walking cliche. Jesus, Mike, Fuck tell her. us how you really. <laughs> that's what Timmy's old lady did. Ran off with a fucking personal trainer. Really, what a fucking cliche. That would be cheesy if I wrote that as a television story, but you did that in real life. Yeah, taekwondo uh, that, sauce. or right. or jujitsu. So there's my my punch of the day. Brought to you by the law office of Orlando Kell. Who are you punching? C.D. Lamb's mom. Gosh, you can't punch <laughs> C.D. Lamb. I just did. LG. I, I just did. did. LG, oh you don't stand for this shit? <laughs> Not for real. I know. <clears throat> I know. I'm messing with you. It's different. 
He literally works with Dak. They literally throw passes to one another. And he gave CD his best season yet. And it almost, and see, here's what happens. It blows up and we overreact to it. Oh, why would she say that? Why would she feel empowered to write that on Facebook? Right. Sounds like maybe her son's told her this. Maybe there's a maybe there's a massive problem. I mean, didn't CD and Dak have pro- they were talking yeah, shit they had early some, they in the had Green words. Bay game? Yeah, they had Ooh. words that See, game. And that probably is not at all the case, no. but it makes it look like that and it opens that up and CD and Dak don't need to deal with that. They deal with enough because they play it for America's circus. So I'm punching. Well, out. the only person that I don't know, I don't follow CD. I know Micah distanced from his brother. Oh, did you see the release? Clearly some lawyer wrote that. For, oh, he so didn't some, even say my brother. He's like, I do not condone the words of Terrence Parsons Tad, Jr. Terrence. Terrence Parsons Jr. He didn't even Jr. call him Tad. That's how you know someone wrote that shit for him. Yeah, yeah. I love Dallas, and I love this organization. I'm com- as committed as ever to bringing a championship to Dallas. They're going to give him $50 million. Dallas. Dallas. Give him $50 million, so, well, all right. All right, well. Uh, is that the first punch of a woman? Punch of the day. In, in, in oh, history? God, no, and it won't be the last. Okay. Punch of the day brought to you by the law office of Orlando Kell. He specializes in... Family law, divorce, if you've been served with papers or you're getting ready to serve somebody with something or y'all already have been divorced and you need your decree changed, maybe you've moved or she's moved or somebody's job status has changed and this kind of thing, it happens. Uh, Orlando can help get this done and make it easy for you at 210-775-4995 or you can email him directly at Orlando Law, Orlando Kell Law at gmail.com. Thank you to Orlando Kell. Okay. What up, Orlando? What's up, Orlando? Well, you know, I've never met him. What? He, I've never met him. I've never, I've, I've, I've him. asked him to go drinking or have lunch four times. He's like, nah, I'm a good, okay. You're doing fine. He's just a busy dude. One of these days, we'll meet Orlando. I hope so. One of these days. All right. Um, let's talk about the big news of the NBA last night, if you want. Let's do it. <laughs> because it's got me wondering, you know, this is, you know, this is what we do. Um, we overreact to shit, but we can only go on what we've seen. So it makes me wonder what the story is when I see the 30 and 13 Milwaukee Bucks fire Adrian Griffin 43 games into season one. 30 and 13 at that. They're That's 30 and 13. Yeah, yeah. They're 30 and 13. Right. You just brought Damian Lillard in. It's going to take him some time to get used to running with Giannis and Get, they're still getting used to each other, and they're thirty and thirteen. You know, right. they're what the fuck is going on in Milwaukee, and why was Adrian Griffin let go? That's easy. Now it's easy. Are you sure? See, it's the, easy. I'm gonna tell you why. You think Giannis is a dick? Okay, he keeps his bum ass brothers on the team. They're bums. That's what they are. They're he, he has two brothers on I, the team. I know one for sure. Fana- Giannis. Fanasis. Giannis. He's a yeah. fucking bum. He mm-hmm. can't play dead. He's on the team because Giannis wants him on the team. Okay. Damian Lillard is on the team because Giannis wanted him there. If Giannis wanted Adrian Griffin to remain his coach, he is not fired. It is his first real sign of mm-hmm. being full blown Americanized. <laughs> He's a full oh, it's blown. America's now, fault. Keep in mind. Yes, America's fault. Always. America. Keep in mind. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Keep in mind, like, dude, Giannis. Loves him some LeBron. Every chance he gets, he tells everybody. LeBron's still the best player. He's following his footsteps. LeBron got a plenty of coaches clipped. Not plenty. Remember, he got David Black clipped. Yep. Remember that in midseason, their number one seed when he got David Black. Now it ended up being the right decision. They brought in Ty Lue. I'm okay they with getting going, guys fired when it's but necessary. But 43 games in, no, that is Giannis. You don't Giannis making all the calls. This is all on him. And I don't know, I'm not saying it's not the right or wrong thing, but this is what I will tell Giannis. Oh, okay. You can bring in Jesus, and Dame Lillard still can't play fucking defense. The reason why y'all are struggling is because you let go of Drew Holiday, who was able to have a, a path of resistance for every point guard. We're in a point guard-heavy NBA. Every point guard that came through Milwaukee had to deal with Drew Holiday, and they knew they had to pack their lunch. Dame Lillard is a great player offensively. Defense, he's a fucking free lunch. That's why you're struggling. And I don't give a damn if you bring in Doc Rivers. I don't give a damn if you bring in Greg Popovich, Phil Jackson, and combine them and make one coach. Dame Lillard is still a free food on on defense, and you're still going to have the same problems. Milwaukee, when they won their title, they won it. Yes, 
playing defense. Giannis can't shoot. Every now and then he gets hot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every now and then he hit a few free throws, hit a few threes, whatever. Yep. But no, the reason why they they're digressing at thirty and thirteen is because Dame Lillard is a liability on defense. You traded away your, one of the best defenders in the league for a superstar to appease Giannis. So Giannis, this is your doing. Now you're, well, you know, we call him Le GM. I don't know. We got to come up with something for Giannis now. A cool little GM nickname. Like this is what you wanted, mm-hmm. and this is what this is what it's res, uh, resulted in. And you want to blame Adrian Griffin? There's no way he's fired unless Giannis signed off on it. Everything that this team does is based around keeping him for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And so he's probably gone still because leave. Giannis rode off on it. And he probably still leaves. Yeah, it looks like former Spurs broadcaster Doc Rivers is going to get that job in Milwaukee. One chip in 20 years, does Doc deserve the job? What has well, what Doc done since 08? Failed with the Clippers. Coach the, well, no one's going to win with them. You and I disagree he on the Clippers. failed with Philly. Yeah. He tried to turn James Harden into John Stockton. Yeah. Had his son on the Clippers, and everybody hated him. Well, let me ask you this, though, just to play the devil's advocate. Is it possible that the management in Milwaukee, you say Giannis makes all the decisions. I don't think it was his decision to hire Adrian Griffin. Oh. Who clearly, <laughs> what is, what if it's, what, is it possible the GM made the screwed up and Adrian Griffin just can't coach and he's in over his head? There's got to be more. Now, maybe that's a fair it sense. Maybe Giannis be, never wanted We him. want Doc and... If if Adrian Griffin were showing Giannis that he was a, the next great coach in this league, this ain't happening. I just don't think it's just because Giannis is a dick. Okay, maybe it's a dick move to get him fired so quick, but maybe Giannis thinks we're not going to be able to win with this guy and we're running out of time. We're halfway through the season. This guy ain't it. Let's go ahead and go ahead and make the change now. Maybe it's a dick move, but maybe it's – but sometimes don't you have to make a dick move for the betterment of the greater good, which is ultimately trying to win another championship, even if you become an asshole in the process? Okay. You, qu- you're blaming Dame. Dame is the biggest problem. And that ain't changing, well, by the way. Well, first of all, he Dame. going to get good all of a sudden is, now on D. He helps, mm-hmm. but he's also hurting them because he can't guard anybody. Not you, not me, not mm-hmm. LG. Though some of those problems that you have right now while you were under Adrian Griffin are not going away. Mm-hmm. They're not going away with if you bring in Doc Rivers and his horse-ass voice. It's not, it's, that's not going away. It's, not, it's just not. So, again, is, is it, are you better than Boston today? I'm so happy to be yeah. the coach of the Bucks. Are you better than Boston today because you bring in Doc I Rivers? I think we no. are better than Boston because they hired yeah. me. Dude. He always gets so hoarse. Dude. I, I am so upset about I like this Doc. loss. I, I like, like Doc. I like Doc. We all like Doc. How do you not like Doc Rivers? But that ain't the answer to beating Are Boston. Are you saying I can't coach? Yes. I've never done anything. And then he won't let the hair KG go. KG has a ring because of me. Yeah, he has a fake fade. <laughs> what is he, 60? Got He's an be. old man you're hating on an old no, man. No, he looks good, though. Good. That black don't crack. Uh, okay, I this is our first big disagreement. I think Doc's going to make a difference in Milwaukee. I, he's not going to make Damian Lillard play defense. Right. But, again, it's Milwaukee. They have to coddle Giannis. No, I, w- I mean, I'm look, if I'm the owner, Spurs I'm not Spurs coddled Timmy. Yeah, if I'm the owner, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I wouldn't be doing the same. Right. But I'm, I'm not going to give Giannis the pass. That's all I'm you saying. You don't have to. But I let Giannis play is like, yeah, yeah. I bet Doc helps them. That's a better team that he had in L.A. with those shitty fucking dysfunctional Clippers. That's a better team right now than what he had in Philadelphia at the time. I think the Sixers have gotten better well, since he had Doc Lob was City, there. Right? He had Lob City with Blake and CP and CP yeah. and Blake. Yeah, no Blake one was, played D on that team. Yeah, because Blake was a fucking grab-asser. And yeah. CP3 hated him. And super overrated. Who's overrated? Blake Griffin was. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I think if, you know, if Doc can't make this work, then you're right. We're going to find out. That's Orlando. I'm going to give, give, give Doc a chance here. Boston. Clippers, so what Philly. Does failure this look is like? his fifth job. Is it championship or Doc sucks? It's one or the other. They can't go to the conference finals and lose to the Celtics in seven games. That means Doc sucks. What does Doc have? What do they have to do to make you think? Well, maybe Doc should stick around for a few years. It's got to be a chip. You're not bringing him in here to be this a- year. Shit, where it's failed. Shit, Mike, you got Dane. You got. He just Giannis. said he's a one way player. He is a one way player. 
No, I'm I'm just we're playing devil's advocate. It does make Giannis look shitty. No, I can't give him that pass. Like um, we we always call guys coach killers. He's a, he's officially on the coach killer list. Yeah, Coach he's Bud the won the won the chip and got, and got ran out. Yeah, um, I've seen some stuff from Giannis over the years that made me think he's just a young kid, but he's fucking great and he has won a championship. <laughs> Yeah, he has one. But maybe Giannis has gotten a bit too arrogant, maybe. Expects too much. We don't know how he's, much. He's realized his power and he's using it. Yeah. Like, we all covet that. Like, I don't, hell. He's using Milwaukee against itself. I, wouldn't, I can't say I wouldn't do it. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I wouldn't be pulling the same shit Giannis is pulling. Okay, I'm saying, and I said that they cuddled, cuddled Tim, but Tim was never a, a punk ass about it. Do we know? Well, we don't know public. what Tim say behind closed doors well, because the they never, never let it fired. leak. You're right. The, well, let's, let's see what happens in the next. Let's give this five days to play out. Shit always comes, seems to, you get the, oh, coach fired. Right. Doc Rivers hired. Milwaukee. We then don't we even forget, know if it's and Doc. We, They're and still then, in negotiations, and then right? Four, yeah, and then four or five days go by, and then <laughs> stuff starts trickling out that actually brings some of that puzzle together. But by then, ESPN's done with that. It's on to the next big headliner. Let's see, let's follow back up and see how things go. I think it's going to work out. I like the Bucks. I like Giannis. I think he's cool. I like Giannis a lot um, too. But he has had some moments of immaturity, mostly just off the court. Never, never affected winning. You know, he had he he's he had, has affected winning. You and think so? T- I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. You, who you talk about, Giannis? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why Giannis affected winning. You look at the last two times they faced the Heat in the playoffs. The Heat are like motherfucker. We dare you. We dare you. We're just gonna pack the paint. And you're going to get a whole bunch of offensive foul calls, and you're going to miss a whole bunch of jump shots, and we're going to beat the hell out of you. Miami, when 2020 in the bubble, beat the hell out of them. This mm-hmm. past season in the playoffs, beat the hell out of them, which is what ended up getting Bud, Bud, Coach Bud clipped. Mm-hmm. So Giannis enhanced – well, he affects winning when he's not on, and most of the time he's not on. Like there, Because of the fact that he can't shoot, you can still just sag – and then be like, okay, if he beats us, he beats us. We're going to tip our cap. And that year they won the title, he did that. 50-piece in the game six, closeout game, hit all his free throws, was making threes and shit. Like, there, he has the ability to have those nights. But majority of the nights, I'm just going to sag off of you and, and, and take charges because all you can do is run and jump. And I love Giannis, I'm, but I'm being real. He just mm-hmm. he can, All he can do is run and jump. He had that. He has uh, no skill set to Giannis. He caught a lot of shit for him jumping on, on that reporter the year that they wound up firing Budenholzer. Oh, like Giannis yeah. is a failed season if y'all don't win the championship. We didn't win for 50 years. That's my, that's my fake Greek. Yeah, that, we, we didn't win for that. 50 years. We got to work on that. Does that mean every season was a fail? No. It if does. we don't win the championship, it's not a fail. Once you've won, that's all that matters. I don't think he understands. Like, that part of the American... Well, then not, why not let Adrian Griffin at least finish the season yeah. and see what happens? Like, he's... He's become Americanized, but he doesn't get that part of it. I'm waiting to hear that Adrian Griffin banged the owner's mom or was what? way in over his head and You're just talking about was the, lost. Like, what, like Udoka? There's got to be something more. I mean, because it looks no, on the outside, it, it looks like the Bucks are totally panicking and overreacting here by Giannis getting didn't ready. Well, this is it's really as simple as that. Yeah. It, well, right now it looks like that. Yeah. yeah you see absolutely. Neil Long got 32 grand a month from Neil Udoka. Long. Udoka's ex. Oh, the ex They have a child. They were never 32000 a month. That's a lot for a millionaire actress. And good for her. I'm sure she's... Bro, that's a lot for a multi-millionaire actress. That's a lot of money. Thirty two k. Nia's paid. I know. But I'm open. she's just throwing that in his account and well, she's she never should, touching it and he'll have it. She should think that baby she had with him because that's the reason she's getting that money because you know she worked so hard to earn all that money that he's got. She deserves so much. <laughs> Only good thing for uh, Udoka is he's 12. I have a lot of hot so sports opinions like, about child support. Yeah, so he only has six years to do it. Right. Um, become about a member support? of this show. Yes. It's unfair often. Women always think that they need to get rich because we got divorced. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to put. Po- if I marry a rich I, man, I'm not rich. I oh, I married a rich a guy. Oh, I married a rich guy? Cool. If we get divorced, then I'm entitled to be rich too. Get the fuck out of here with that. Bullshit. You should get a percentage. But you, you should, the kids should maintain the lifestyle though, Mike. No. Oh, have you seen some of the lifestyles the kids needed over the years? And you see uh, Dr. Dre's old lady? She needed she needed two houses because the school was closer to one house than the other one. But she liked that other one, so she wanted to be there on the weekends. That was her entitlement from being with Dre. Get the fuck out of here. She didn't do shit. She didn't do nothing to earn that money. LG, why did you tell me not to bark up this tree? 
He, he, give he was a heads so up. fucking happy to get rid of her. Dr. Dre Thanks, threw the, the biggest party of the year in L.A. The year he got divorced was his divorce party. He was so happy. Fine, just I've take half divorce my parties. shit. Just take my shit. Just, get the fuck out of here, man. Get my just take it. Have both houses. Get the boat, whatever. Because you, because you, and that's what you, that's the lifestyle that you, the baby, deserves. Okay, fuck off. SA Jets 22, 9.99 with a Thank contribution. You. That would, that would buy 10 <laughs> dollar Buffalo Trace barrel bottles. But we're only selling one. I know, I'm just saying. God damn it. That's how cheap it is. Thank you, Luis. Y'all MFers should have been together on the mic from the day one. Thank you, man. Damn, who said that? Making up for lost time. Uh, thank you for becoming a member. All right, look at all these people in here chatting. I love it. Luis Flores has become a tier one subscriber. Thank you, thank Luis you. Flores. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Support this show. All right. Yeah, no, Giannis. Uh, I'll punch Giannis. Okay. Shout out to Orlando. Okay. All right. I got to punch Giannis. Rudy's punch of the yeah, day. That's I'm, a good one. Yeah, I got to punch him for that. Well, that's a good now, one. Now, I might be in his navel because I'm 5'9". Okay. He has a weird thing with pornography, too. He talks about it too free all well, the time. Well, hell, we just spent our first 20 minutes talking about squirting. Who are we to talk? Well, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> Go Bucks. <laughs> you're right. uh, it was a good day for my Rangers. <laughs> what the hell? Happened? Wait a minute. Uh, well, the, the, I'm trying to remember the World Mike Series Hank. champions. Oh, yeah. Well, you are and, and from the, Dallas. The, the Fort Worth. Oh, dude. shit. Is there a difference? Uh, yeah. You're just, not, you're just messing with me. Yes, there's a difference. One day we'll have to go down that rabbit hole with the difference in Dallas and Fort Worth, other than bullet holes. What bullet holes? Fort Worth is ghetto. No, it's not. You've not been there in a while. It used to be. We were ghetto for a long time. Okay. Yes. I get, matter of fact, in 1990, you can even check me on this. It's 90 or 91. I think it's 90. In 1990, Fort Worth was the murder capital of America. Didn't have more murders than the big cities but right. per capita. Like murder, violent crimes and murders per 100,000 people, Fort Worth was number one, bitches. Shout out to Fort what Worth. What happened Bitch. was the city rounded up a lot of that, those fucking gang members in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Late 70s, early 80s. Because of the, the fucking gang movie shit, Colors. Colors fucked us up. Gangs went out of control in right. Fort Worth in the early 80s. So Fort Worth rounded all that shit up, sent their asses to TDC. Ten years go by, a lot of those guys are now getting out. 89, 90, 91, right. and it, it went it went right back to where it was and came to a head. And the great Mike Moncrief, former mayor of Fort Worth. Uh, okay, that his name, name sounds familiar. Well, he's one of the he's a big UT booster. Okay, I thought so. Clean that city up. <laughs> when I go back to Fort Worth now, I don't even recognize it. And, I, and it's it's beautiful. It's clean. We should take a Fort Worth trip and a Tyler trip. How badass would that be? I want to see. All my family the migrated to Dallas. Most of them. Really? Well, well, it doesn't matter. We can go see your favorite restaurant. No, we go to Tyler. We know. I got a buddy that owns a T. Uh, what is it called? Not THC. What's the other one? Delta. No CBD. CBD. I got a buddy that owns oh, okay. a CBD shop up there. Yeah, we'll go hang we out. We need to go you. hang out. Yeah, there. I smoked some CBD two nights ago. How did it make you feel? Help me sleep. I smoked it. In oh, slept. like like flour in a pen. Oh, in a pen. Yeah, it was good. I slept well. What's you ever suck some dick for marijuana? What the fuck? Hey, yo. Why do y'all trust those pens? I Oh, it's rare. You touch them. I know I did it again. Mind. It's rare. I'm, I'm scared of those pens. Like I, I know. I it's electric. You shouldn't do it. Anything I you plug in shouldn't be smoked. I'm not going to yeah. sit here and be holier than thou. It's but, rare. I needed to sleep. But I don't trust them. We were out them. of flour. Oh. We were out of flour. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, my Rangers. Yeah, your Rangers. Not My the bad. Dallas Rangers, the Texas Rangers, damn it. The reigning World Series champions. The greatest third baseman in Rangers history, Adrian Beltre, is in the Hall of Fame. I just wanted to give him Oh, he got in. Yeah, he's in. 95% approval. Ain't he a juicer? Maybe. He played in the era. I don't why, care. I don't think he is because they didn't let Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds in. Well, so. they're real hypocritical about that, though. So I'm glad you brought this up because I normally I boycott the Hall of Fame. I don't talk about the Baseball Hall of Fame ever. because of that. Yes. Because of Roger. Now because you don't give a fuck about Barry Bonds. It's because of Roger. I Clemens. give a lot of fuck about Barry Bonds, and Barry's number one reason why I don't talk about the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay, it's go bullshit. ahead. I boycott the Hall of Fame, the baseball one for sure. I never talk. I never do this segment every time. Every year at this time, we have the new class of Hall of Fame. The only reason I'm going to lift this today is because it's Beltre, and I'm only going to do a couple minutes on this okay. because I, I don't want to talk about the Hall of Fame. Um, so I'm lifting the boycott only because it's Beltre, and I love the dude. Um, 95.1, let me make sure this is right, 95.1% of the vote he got. That's a lot. Only three third basemen in, in history have gotten more 
percent on the first ballot. Mike Schmidt. Yep. Royals in the eighties. Fuck. Oh. George Brett. George Brett. And Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. That's Damn it, it, Rudy. I suck at baseball. Go ahead. I don't worry about it. That's the, only, that's the only three guys ever who have had more percentage than Adrian Beltre. He's the he's simply the he was the he was the best player on those Rangers World Series teams in 2010, 2011. The ones that came up short. Yeah, that lost both times. The one Josh strike Hamilton, away. One Adrian strike away. Beltre, yeah, Michael gotcha. Young. Yes, one strike away. <laughs> um that guy was a late bloomer, too. He did all that in his 30s. All those insane numbers he put up. Adrian Beltre did not make his first all-star team until he was 31. He'd been in the league 10 years at the time. So now I'm trying to think, is he a real, what's, what's the home runs and, and, and hits? What is it? Is he 3,500? Is he 3,000 uh, well, hits, 500 home runs? I don't have runs? the exact numbers, okay, but I do know that he he had over 400 home runs in his career. Okay. Had over 3,000 hits and won oh, like, okay. eight, like 12 gold gloves. Oh, he's in. Only four guys in baseball history have had at least 400 home runs, 3,000 hits, and five gold gloves won on defense. Only four other guys in history have ever done that. Uh, but you're right. The Hall of Fame sucks. It's cheaping. Not, and I'm happy for Beltre, and he's happy about it. Um, but this is the shit that I look at down the list here. I've got the voting in front of me that pisses me off. So, they, so Todd Helton got into the Hall of Fame. Okay. You Todd Helton had a good career. Talk about the Rockies. Yeah, he feasted on the thin air in Denver. That's <laughs> fine. The numbers were what they were. He couldn't help who he played for. That's fine. You want to pot, you want to put Todd Helton in the Hall of Fame? Go ahead. That's Whatever. fine. But A Rod only gets thirty four percent of the vote. Get the fuck out of here, A Rod. But he, he got caught cheating. Mike doesn't matter, Rudy. Doesn't matter. He should be in the Hall of Fame. All the, you know how many guys are in the hall that didn't get caught, and that's where we're gonna we're gonna base that on who got. That's just it. It's the whole thing's cheaper because you do have juicers in the hall of fame that just happen to not get caught. It still cheapens the fucking hall of fame. Though we know for a fact there's there's fifty the, the shit they were doing in the seventies. Tom House, the longtime Rangers yeah. pitching coach, who <laughs> caught Hank Aaron's seven hundred and fifteenth home run because he was in the bullpen in Atlanta. Has said half the guys that I played with in the late seventies, we were we were doing horse tranquilizers. Jeez, what the hell does that do for you? I don't know. I don't either. But I don't I, know. I know it wasn't legal. Yeah, whatever. Mickey Mantle was popping lewds like they were Pez candy in the fifties because he was fucking hammered all night long and he was hung over. I just I'm I'm so it, it's, so in it's your mind, A Rod's a Hall of Famer. Oh my God, A Rod's one of the fifty greatest players of all time. Period. Um, Manny Ramirez only got 32% of the vote. That's bullshit. That's horseshit. You don't think Big Poppy See, this juiced? Is our, this is our first time having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you. Look, I, I know plenty of guys that feel this way, but I didn't know you felt this strongly Strong. about it. The, right. fact, the fact that Barry Bonds, who's the greatest baseball player who's ever lived on earth, is not on the Hall of Fame. The fact that Katie's own and the former Longhorns great Roger Clemens, right. who was one of the five or six or seven at worst best pitchers who's ever done it is not in the hall. And Roger never got caught, Rudy. It was innuendo. Yeah. He sued, went all the way to the Supreme Court with the great Rusty What's-His-Face, the Harden. Houston. Yeah, Rusty Harden. They went and spoke before a congressional committee, and the committee found no evidence, and they let and Roger beat the case. And they still won't let him in because it's it's – but they're all pretty sure he was well, on the juice. That's horse shit. Well, you know, um, those writers have too much power. Correct. Baseball writers have way too much Which power. Which is why the and it's cheap and the, the writers have cheapened the Hall of Fame. Not the juicers, the writers have. Facts. And in 40 years, when Clemens and Bonds are dead, and this is all forgotten, some old timers committee will put them in posthumously. But it will be too late. There's a part of you. Let's just stick in with Roger and Barry, yeah. Mike. There's a part of you not say, well, damn it. Y'all were Hall of Famers before the bullshit. Why even do it? Barry was already a Hall of Famer, and so was Roger. Now, what happened with them, they looked around and saw people getting $100 million. And they're like, fuck that. I'm going I'm, I'm to go get mine, too. But then when you have everything you want, everybody's set up. And you're not in the hall now. Something's missing. Like mm -hmm. you, were, the, both of those guys were already Hall of Famers before the clear and the cream. So why do it if you're already a Hall of Famer? Because they wanted to play till they were forty, and they did. Here's what's going to happen. In four, I mentioned forty years from now, my grandkids are going to say, "Grandpa, 
So there was a time. And by the way, most stuff guys do now is for recovery to get over it's injuries. It's all recovery. It's yeah. all recovery. Now Bonds did it to get bigger. That's fact. And stronger. And stronger. But Clemens did it to to have longevity career, and prolong right. his career. We're going to get to a point here morally where my grandkids are going to say, Grandpa, so there was a time where there were actually drugs on the market that you could take to heal your body faster and recover. But yeah. because baseball players did it, they got punished, admonished, blackballed from the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's stupid. They're going to think my, my grandkids think that's stupid and immoral. Oh, oh th- it's immoral that right, Bonds right. and Clemens are not in. You got to think now also. And that'll get proven out in years to come. Remember when we used to crucify Allen Iverson and those guys for smoking weed? And now the NBA don't even test for Not this guy. I no, no, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. There was a time where we frowned upon guys that smoked weed. Yeah, now it's encouraged to get to, to, for recovery. Yes. Calvin Johnson said he smoked it after every game. It, you run, they run 10 miles a night without stopping. Yeah, so. It's, I smoke pot, So I know America. what you mean with the kids. I smoke pot. Not every day, but often. Oh, you! I do. That's it. Now, gonna, y'all going to oh, stop watching the show now? No. I'm not going to stop watching the show. I hope not because you're on the show. <laughs> how many states have legalized marijuana since AI got black how, how many we got? 40? Now, AI eventually got on the hall. Texas track. will be last, right? More than 25. <laughs> I don't mean yeah, the way it's going. Texas what happens will be last. first in Texas? Casinos or weed? I think weed. I think casinos. I think... I don't know that either will while we're alive, though. What? This state's so fucking backwards. You want to get into the I politics think, of think, this state? Oh, my God. I think I think low-key, I think casinos are a lot more close than we think. I don't I don't actually now, know. Louis- you asked me. I threw something no, yeah. I don't know. No, I know. Louisiana and Oklahoma praying. If Louisiana, if we get casinos, Louisiana and Oklahoma are fucked. No more reason to go there. Yeah, well, why, yeah, why would you? Right. They, they thrive off of Texas money. Uh, coming down there, but uh, I, I would say casinos. That was just a random question, mm-hmm. just a random thought. Yeah, no, no. But Texas will be last. I think we got forty states. I don't know how many states we have where it's legalized. To answer, your it's question. in. The, I think it's like twenty nine. Oh, so it's, I'm way, but I'm way still too more high. than half. And and a lot of those where it's not legal, it's no one really gives a shit. Like in Hawaii, it's still technically illegal, but you got to be like you got to be running dope, like pounds of it. Oh, got you. Weed. You get caught with the joint, and don't give a shit. I would think because of I smoked all the time on the beach in front of everybody. Yeah, I would think because of the, you know, whatever it is, the environment, I would think Hawaii has some pretty good weed. It's good. Right? I mean, everybody, yeah, you can get good weed anywhere, but there's some damn good weed there. Asian weed comes in from Japan. And it's <laughs> and it's illegal as shit in Japan. Really? You, still put you, you still go to jail in Tokyo for having a joint. I think Dubai, Stop. I don't think you can smoke. There's Yeah, there's a few places where you smoke, they throw away the key. Well, they're letting religion dictate their, their laws, which right. is what happens a lot in this state. They let the tele- and they let the evangelicals dictate laws, and we wind up with kids in prison over marijuana. It's, it's outrageous. Right. I'm not Wasn't bashing, I'm not bashing was that God. The, was that weed, Brittany Russia, Griner? yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. She got 10 years for hash, and that was just the oil. In right. a little pipe. Imagine you got caught with a bag, a dime bag. Got to know, the, know the country laws, I guess. Shit. Yeah, that's on her for not. She she knew the laws. She she. I don't. I, the, the punishment was over the top. Right. If but she had you, got caught with knew. real weed, the punishment would have been less. The concentrated oh, weed is okay. a lot more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's going to be more but damaging. But she knew the law. If you're going to oh, go yeah, to she Russia, blew it. yeah, she should not have. She was. I, that was on her. The punishment was over the top. Yeah, it was. She shouldn't have done that. Sergio, I want to punch my dog for chasing a skunk, and he got sprayed. <laughs> oh, that happened, dude. So I used to have a Sharpe. Yeah. Rest in peace, Bundy. What's and up, Bundy? Yeah, he I he was chasing a skunk in my backyard, and I'm chasing him, chasing the skunk. And, he, <laughs> and I'm throwing shit at the skunk, and I'm throwing shit at Bundy like, no, no. And yeah. he finally cornered that motherfucker, and that skunk sprayed him. That was a hell of a ride to the vet. That was a hell of a ride to the vet. <laughs> Welcome in here to Leonel Boreal. Leonel Boreal. Leonel Boreal. Is that how you say it? Boronel? New, new, new subscriber. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate you. What up? Welcome. I, I said what's up to Luis. Uh, loving y'all's feedback. Keep it coming. I appreciate that. Outdoor is better in Hawaii, but weed is good everywhere. Huh. I saw a dog get nailed with a porcupine one time. Oh, that's Not that brutal. long ago. That's brutal. brutal. Poor thing had the things all in him. Yeah. He's in his mouth, hanging out here. 
Oh. We were in the vet. We happened to be at the vet one night. Me and Nina took our little dog to the vet because right. he was sick. He's fine. But while we were there, they had to. We had to wait because they had an emergency situation. This poor dog comes in there, looking like a little bird dog, like a little hunting dog, like a pointer. You know, he's just doing doing he's what they're supposed out, to do. That's what he's supposed to be doing, right? But that porcupine did what he had to do. <laughs> He looked like that dude in that movie with Pinhead, the scary movie, yeah. the poor dog. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Shit was all everywhere. And they're everywhere. just quiet because he's was, in pain. That, he was uh, 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 just drooling. He couldn't close his mouth. He, he got stuck in the tongue up in the jaw. Do they have jaw. to pull those out one by one? Well, put you to sleep and they then pull them out. They had to sedate the dog and l- literally shit pop them all Is out. there a bigger racket than the vet? You'll pull the plug on your mama before you pull the plug on your dog. And the vets, in those veterinarian places, they know it. I'm the from vet, my, my, I'm the a, vet places are expensive, I'm not, dude. I'm 70% white, but I grew up in the Mexican neighborhood. We didn't have no vet. He got <laughs> dropped off. A fly start, like George Lopez, the fly start showing up, humping no, around dude, your like, dog. It's time to get rid of, of him. The, I had, in, my wife, we you had. Took him in, to the white yeah. people. Yeah. They, we know they'll take, somebody over there will take care of him. Yeah. He'll we, get put in a no-kill shelter. We had insurance <laughs> on our dog. <laughs> what? We had a Maltese. Oh, my God. I didn't have insurance. We had a $1,200 insurance. damn dog. My wife bought it. I didn't Ooh. have that type of money. Yeah. We had to, well, we had to get insurance because the, the trips to the vet were insane. Mm-mm. The it's vets like are a sports car. Like, people will take out a loan on their house mm-hmm. to save their pet. You get a mutt. The vet don't charge as much. Oh, get a rescue dog? Yeah, or a mutt. Yeah, yeah, get some. Rescue. Re- it's like having go, a nice car. Always a, go rescue. You have a BMW, oil changes are 150 bucks. Easy. A tire is 500 yeah. You get a Toyota Corolla, it's 15 at Babylon. Good bit. Great point. Uh, Leonel, our new guy, punched the idiot who flew by me on 410 and hydroplaned into my lane. Could have killed <laughs> me. Mike M.F. Taylor and Rudy <laughs> F.J. about time. Thank you. Thank you. Remember how much fun baseball used to be, Blackbird 76. It still is. Baseball's fun. I'm not going to let fat ass out of shape, out of fat. touch. Rider. Moral king riders ruin my baseball fandom. I'm going to bitch about that part, but I enjoyed. I have not enjoyed baseball like I enjoyed it this year in a long time. But you only enjoyed it because of the Rangers, Mike. See, no, I was already enjoying it. That happened to, that, that happened to happen, which made it the greatest baseball season ever. Right. I made a I made a point this year to and I say this I've said this three four years in a row. Mm-hmm. Puma used to give me shit. Okay, we'll see how long it lasts. And within ten days, I'm like I don't even know who's playing anymore. This year, I stuck with baseball pretty good. And the Rangers were horrible at the beginning. They 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 went way into the toilet and then they got hot again. Houston was just kind of uh, plugging along the whole season. I got into it this year because I decided that I just wanted to. I needed I you know get I get. How many times can I sit here and talk about Dak blowing a playoff game or the Spurs are 20 and whatever? We didn't have Wimby. Dak did Dak shit in the playoffs again, and I just needed something new. Right. You know, for a while I watched a lot of soccer because I, I was out of touch. I, I quit watching baseball for years. Because you were but Liverpool, I got back in. right? No, I was an Arsenal man. You were Arsenal. I know Arsenal. one of the red teams. But then I switched to I switched a couple of times since. Yeah, what happened to t- Tottenham? Well, I quit watching soccer. I never actually – well, what happened was my brother's a big Chelsea fan. Now, you can't go to and be I've a got, fan for Chelsea. That's like someone going to be a Chiefs fan, ain't it? I don't even know. I, I picked know Tottenham either. because they've got a rooster as their logo. And they're Spurs, I thought that aren't was they? cool. I, and they're I, called Spurs. I slept gotcha. my ass all the way to the hood in you London and, and I bought you a shirt. Them. The coolest thing wow. you've ever done. That was the most ratchet place I think I've ever walked from. Really? Tottenham. Yeah. That area? Outside the stadium it's there. It's ghetto, man. It's like the fact There's a crackhead on well, every they corner. They built a new arena, but before it that, was it was like, built it was like was the there. Lakers in Inglewood in the 80s. Oh, okay, okay. You yeah, to, Inglewood was the you hood. You need the bulletproof glass to go to the Laker game in those days, for sure. Inglewood was the hood, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I spent the night in Inglewood. It wasn't good. Uh, I, I didn't sleep well. They got Roscoe's, though. I've been to Roscoe's. I, I, yeah, me too. Um, just rolling through some people's shit. Thank y'all, man. This is in the building. I, I'm just, I'm happy that y'all have so many people have jumped over. Tell your buddies. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend. We want, we want to, we want to conquer this city, and then God forbid, we regional it up. I'm never gonna move, but I would love the bigger the these are we're we're this little podcast. We're all in this together. It's a grassroots yeah. effort, including our subscribers and members. Can and I our move sponsors. once we get big? Can I move to Dallas? And Why we would still you do want our, to move to Dallas? I want to live in Dallas. What? I'm dead ass. 
My sister lives there, and I fucking love it. Oh, because of family. My mom lives there. But see, they're in North Dallas, where there's a bunch of out there. By, they're right next to you Prosper. You say it. It's a bunch of what? It's a bunch of beautiful homes. <laughs> what did you think White I was going to say? <laughs> nah. Hey, man, I, that, don't, that don't help. In Texas, <laughs> only way you get any love in Texas, you black the sports. I look um, at Dallas the way I look at Austin. I like to go there. I love Austin shit. too. I don't want to live there. See, but you're jaded because you lived in Dallas. See, my wife loves Houston. I've never, which is strange. I like I love Houston. Dallas. I like Houston. And I love San Antonio. I'm not disrespecting, but I wouldn't mind. Like, let's say something came up, like somebody want to pay me a quarter million dollars. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. That's it. I wouldn't Buy have a problem. Appreciate no. it later. No, we're Taylor. still gonna do our thing, but I'm gonna do that too. Oh, but, okay, <laughs> but oh, that's no, fine. I, I would love to live in Dallas. Who okay. doesn't love Dallas? I think you get tired of it after about two years, because it's pretentious. Because Dallas is a wannabe L.A. in that everyone up there is trying to one up everybody and have the latest. It feels, is it that way? There's a shit ton of uh, thirty five thousand dollar a year millionaires in Dallas, where they act like ballers, but really they live in an apartment with their mom. <laughs> There's there's pockets of Dallas where you can get away from that, but it's a big part of it. And it's also just a bunch of fucking suburbs. And I, I don't like the suburbs. Yeah, my, my sister lives in Salina. Oh, that's the country. Up there by Prosper. See, Salina is still out. Built, everybody, like the the Dallas FC stadiums right by them. Frisco. The PGA. Yeah, yeah. PGA, uh, that course. The Byron Nelson. Yeah, that, the TPC. that course is up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, North Irving. See? Yeah, so she's not I ain't dealing with the that. foolishness. Yeah, yeah, don't get into the foolishness. There's good pl- You know, you could do is just live in Fort Worth, which is a fuck oh, ton better city. Worth. I don't know where you got this. It's a ghetto. That's not true. Uh, but you're stuck with me, at least for now, until you blow up. I mean, what do you mean? We're and that's stuck. okay. If you, if you no, use this platform stuck. to become a major no. star, that just that's another first one of, of all, the... Uh, most of the people who've worked with me wind up going to greater things. First of all, if there's anybody... That's a fact. If there's anybody that's going to blow up and take off, it's this Kim Jong Young over there. Speaking of which, uh, I think your mic is dying on me. Mine is. Yeah. Yeah, mine is. It keeps cutting out on me, too. No, no, that's not the case, LG. What's going on is this, the cord. No, no, no. The cord's no, gone. my no, mic's no. gone. We're out dealing a with something times. else right now. Yeah, it's my mic. Well, oh, you, we've got two things here, going on. Here, talk while I switch the cord. Okay, All I'm right. talking. Not you, dude, the other, okay. other dude. Who, who, me? This yeah, dude? Talk. This dude? Okay, cool. So I'm super stoked that Adrian Beltre's in the Hall of Fame, even though I think it's cheap and because Bonds and Clemens are not in. And y'all, I don't want to argue with anybody because I'm never going to change my opinion. You probably won't change yours so there's no need for any further argument so we'll move on down the road all right but right now we still got rudy living in san antonio right now we're here we're still a little local show so come out here and meet us if you've never met us or you want to see us together for the first time and get living proof that we're now working together come out hang out with us tomorrow from 11 to whenever at oh, Texas Cheer yeah. Liquor. You say, you've never sounded bad to me in my headphones. No, you, no, but I, me and LG could hear because oh, there was a okay. couple of times in the middle of my sentence I went out. But, okay. yeah, tomorrow, Texas Cheer Liquor yes. 9, four really great allocations. Four allocations. Um, come out there. you gotta, you got to name drop the allocations when you get out there. I have a screenshot of the allocations. We've got Weller 12 for 59 bucks. Weller 107 for only 69 bucks. Eagle Rare, $49. <laughs> And there's a special edition of Texas Cheer Zone Special Barrel Buffalo Trace for a dollar. But you have to go in there and say that you want it. There's only one each, so get in there at 11. Hang out with us. Apparently, we're going to have a bunch of swag. Not in the building swag. We're no. working on that. By the way, you want to help us with swag? Reach out to me if you're right. a T-shirt maker or a koozie maker or whatever. Uh, we're going to have food, and we're going to have we're going to have this show. So come and out, Rudy and Mike and, and LG. A, and, and a push-up push up challenge. A push-up challenge. All right? All right. Yeah. Adrian from Fitted Threads is going to come out there and bring some Love You Hard TV swag to give away. There, Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. See? We have swag. See? All right. What's All up? right. Do we do a bit, make you show that you're a member to get the swag? Are you, 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 are you in a giving mood right Maybe now? Maybe if they beat you in the push-up push up talent challenge, oh, they get push up challenge. Yeah. Push yeah, the push-up. Right. What the yeah. hell is that? Hey, we can do hey. that kind of challenge too, you know? Hey, hey, LG, walk us through becoming a member. I have seen four or five people say, I can't figure it oh, out. We're oh, all okay. old. Uh, there's a little join button on the... Here, let me share my screen yeah. real quick. Share okay. your screen. All right. Screen share. We're going to become C-SPAN here this for is, a moment. This is not subscribing. This is to become a member. Only yeah, six yeah, bucks yeah. a month. Yeah. You see, right? I'm seeing the people having a hard become time Become a member. It. Right there next to the Love You Hard logo. Where? Where are you I looking? Can't, you, oh, can't you can't see my pointer, pay. but oh. it says subscribe. There's a join button right there. It says yeah. join. 
Join. Says stream will begin soon. Yeah. yeah. See this right, right underneath the wheel yard icon. Yeah. Underneath the wheel, you'll see it says join. And you click there. Click join. Yeah, you credit card there. information. That's it. Or yeah. in the description right here, it says <laughs> right here, YouTube channel memberships now available. Click see, there. Don't use that tone of voice. Yeah, see, because don't talk right down there, to our people. That see, will bring this up. You're like a pissed off IT then, guy. Boom. You hear him? You see, like LG, LG doesn't understand <laughs> that we all don't have it, even though it's right there. Like the guys that understand this shit are always have that tone. That tone that LG just had. Like, yeah, he's if an you IT just guy. In your look. Office. Right. Well, have you tried? I don't know. Turning it on. Yeah, have you that, hit enter? Yeah. I, you this, know how many times I've been why, lectured by this? This man? is why I could never be a teacher. I don't have patience no, you can't. for the not, students. Not with that. Like that's the first time we asked you. Have you, you tried went rebooting? There. Yeah, you already went there. And it well, was no, the no. first time. This asked. is the first time you've asked. Oh, <laughs> we've gone through this a few times. I okay. have video of him being mean to me down the line because I had to connect from my apartment. Him trying to walk me through how to get connected. Oh, he was pissed. Oh, my God. And he you gets were doing so a bit. That, that day I was. Yeah. Now, see, now he called. I, I can't do that anymore because he knows that I like to have fun with that moment. And I know you know how to connect now, too. Of so. course. you. Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so these options aren't on the phone? Yes, yeah. if you, the phone. Oh, no, 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 no. If you have, you got to click the description and then click the link. If you have an iPhone... It's going to take you to the browser. You can't do it through the YouTube app because uh, Apple charges a fee to Google for that stuff, so they don't allow it. Did you so, get all that? No. Basically, Apple is charging Google. Tell you what. So Google makes you go outside of the app to join. LG will personally show you how to become a member on your phone if you show up tomorrow to Texas Cheer on sure. 1604 and sure. but when got, the show's over and you're not yeah busy. yeah and yeah. I I may be mean about it but we'll have let's have a, let's have like, we'll, we'll have a group <laughs> class after the show we'll all get together we'll have a group class and LG will lead the class and yeah. he'll teach us all how to become members let's do it yeah I don't have a membership it's my show but I will go ahead and how do, do you it not pay yourself why would I do that. I ain't trying to get paid by myself. Look, and as we speak, Frankie Fingers just See, he became figured a member. It out. What's up, Frankie Fingers? Well, he's no, Frankie. No, okay. Stop alienating future members. He figured it out, dumbass. Yeah, what if I'm 60, <laughs> LG? Shit. Cut me some slack, bro. <laughs> I bear, a, all I can do is town. text. Most of these people only text and talk yes, shit on Twitter. This is not Houston or Dallas. We're old school here. Yeah. So yeah. We, we like it that way. I'm not trying to be ugly. Get this guy, man. Yeah, get this guy under control. All right. How about some production value, big time producer over there? Because we're we going to get into. Um, what are we calling this segment? Get to know you? Yeah. Well, I want to get need, to know you. We need something better than get to know you. But yeah, let's go with get to know you for now. Rudy and I have known each other for almost 20 years, but we've never really gotten to know each other. Right. We were married to other people and we looked at each other, but we never actually had sex. Now we're having radio <laughs> sex. Broadcast sex. <laughs> Gay jokes make him so uncomfortable. It's so great. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Here, here's anyway, one of the things you'll Dwight, learn about no me. No Dwight Howard in me. Go ahead. Here's what you're going to have to learn about me, and I can't help it. This is how it is. What? I can't change. What? The more I sense you're being beaten down oh, by something, the more, more I'm going to do it. I apologize. I wish that was not one of my character flaws. It is. It's all good. I'm down. So what are we calling this right now? So for now, we're just calling this Get to Know You. Get to Know You. All right. Get to Know You. That's a, that's I a song I want to get line. to know you. That's print. Oh, that, that's, that's Morse Day. Oh, oh shit. See, I'm oh, talking we, about oh, we, Joe and G. Oh, we, oh, we, yo. Oh, we, yo. All right. Y'all, there's a the thing. Bucks, little man. Y'all give Put us some ideas. for What should we call it? On what we should call Get to Know You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, this edition. Yeah, what we talking of about? Whatever it is, and we're just gonna do this from time to time, is just to get because we and he, we've not discussed this before the show. No, I purposely didn't want to. Thank you, Santonio San Jones just became a member. Thank you, man. All these members, we almost a members only content now. You know, yeah. Just keep that in mind. All right. We'll make it easy. This is a layup. Everybody Can does. You turn this. the bed up, some LG. I like it. It sounds mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Dream dinner. Dream dinner. You get how to many pick, people? You get to pick three people. Three. You get to pick three. You're, Alive or dead. That's four. Whatever. Oh, it's me and three people. You and three people. All right. Dream dream dinner. You and three right. people. Who's going first? Call it heads or tails? Tails. It's tails. You win. You want to go first? You want me I'll to go, go second. You defer? I'll defer. Okay. I'll get the ball in the second half. 
So you want three from me? Can I? I'm, I even have. Oh, you I, have four? Let's do four. If you I got four, because I can even give you honorable mentions. All right, let's go. I got a lot of boyfriends. All right, let's get, let's do it. No particular order. Top of my head. Eddie Vedder is the lead singer of Pearl Jam, my favorite band of What's all What's your time. favorite Pearl Jam song? <sighs> That's like picking your favorite kid. I, I, we'll do that another time. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll, do, I'll be on. I, I got it. Jeremy from the first record, okay. 10. So Eddie Vedder, number one. He's That's the first person you're calling. Ed, like, hey, man, let's have dinner. Yeah, I mean, Ed has basically written the sound. He wrote the soundtrack to my youth. I related to no other musician as a younger man like I related to the things that that band wrote in the 90s. And even continuing to today, as that band has gotten older, they're my age, a right. little bit older, they become family men. The things they write about now, I still relate to it because they write they they write age appropriate tunes because they write legit tunes about Eddie themselves. Better. Eddie Vedder, Rearview Mirror, love Rearview Mirror, and I'm impressed that you know that. I stole it off the YouTube channel. Oh, okay, damn it, don't you should just <laughs> let me think that. <laughs> that is about a terrible relationship between a son and his dad. Trimmer Christ. That is about a bad relationship between a man and his faith. I, 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 we, I, I, no one can beat me on this. Maybe they can tie me, and okay. no one will ever beat me on Pearl well, Jam. Okay, trivia. so clearly Eddie Vedder's at the table. Who else is Ed, at dinner with um, you? No particular order. Um, my fa- Ronnie Ortiz just became a member. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, the great Bill Maher, the comedian, really? political commentator. That is I love Bill as Maher. Fuck. I love Bill Maher. I don't miss that show. I love Bill. I listen to his podcast. I watch his his weekly show on HBO. I love Bill Maher. Okay. Um, I think Bill Bill Maher is an old school liberal that basically makes a living calling pussy ass liberals on their pussy ass shit, and I dig it. I consider myself, and of course, I hate labels. Right. And it changes every 10 years. What's a liberal and a, and a Republican in this country? It's debatable. It cha- they, the, the pendulum changes. I don't. Well, I evolve. I guess if you could label me something as of right now, and by the way, that could change in a month or a year. I could go either way. Right. Because I try to evolve with, this, with the world. I guess right now, ultimately, I am a, I am a center-left leaning man. I'm a moderate liberal because of my social stances. But I cannot stand the limousine liberal pussy ass I know what you're saying. Arrogant liberal. Just I'm just a liberal just asshole. because. I go, I got you. And Bill, I love Bill. I relate to him and his the things that keep him up at night. Keep you in the up Democratic night. Party. Yeah. I'm not that I'm I'm not a Democrat. I'm a moderate left leaning You're a right and liber- wrong guy. You're like me. I'm a libertarian at right. heart. I wish I want to be. Love Bill Maher. I like Bradley Cooper. That's my favorite actor these That's, days. That, I get that. So, but you want to have dinner with them? This is dinner. Yeah, I like. Where to, does Bradley fit hanging. in with Bill Maher and Eddie Vedder? I'd like to find out. I like Bradley Cooper these days. I like that dude. I've read. I've tried to read. I've read a lot about him personally. Things he does, and, and just as much as he he enjoys the art of making films. He is a actor's actor, but I just, I relate to the dude. I want, I want to, I just like the dude, the shit I've read. And I can only go on media articles and, you know, YouTube interviews and shit. So it ain't like I know these guys. Right. No, but just, no, you asked me and that name popped in my head. I'd like to hang out with Bradley Cooper. I think he's a well-rounded all. I think he's kind of a well-rounded dude. If you can be a decent multimillionaire world famous movie star, yeah, no I think shit. he's a decent guy. I think. Um, how many has that? That's three. three. All right. See, this will, this was going to piss off half our listeners, and I don't care. I really think Barack Obama's a bad. Oh motherfucker. shit, Mike! We just gonna we, you, our listeners gonna go. Our viewership's gonna fall through. I don't care. I don't care about. I don't even care that he's a liberal. I just think he's a. I think he's a. I think this is the first black. You think president he's like a cool guy to have a had. beer with yes. and a steak? Yeah. Because of him. like politics aside, you just like to hang with. Because again, this is dinner. Yeah, and just how right. cool a dude he would be to sit and talk hoops with. You think Barack Obama's got opinions on Adrian Griffin getting fired? Yes. He also has opinions on the war in Ukraine. He has opinions on baseball. He has opinions on good restaurants. He's just a he's a he's a well rounded dude. Right. And he's also the first black president we've ever had. I mean, the historical. I would like to get into his brain and ask, what was that like? What do you? 
the, the, can you imagine the pressure? Oh, no. You saw what he looked like from 08 to 16. Yeah. Looked like he aged 20, 30 years. He needs some of that shit. You put your it's beard. The, it's the worst fucking job in America. So that, I guess those guys. Uh, honorable mention. Can I do, use some dead guys? Yeah. Dwight Eisenhower. The greatest military person we've ever had in American history. Who, who led the United States allies to victory in Europe in World War II. You mm. Imagine the pressure on that guy. Hey, the Nazis are taking over the world. We need you to win. We need you to end the Nazis. And Ike, Ike did that. Eisenhower did that. Football man. He was an all-American running back in Army in, in the in, in the in 1908 or whatever. Yeah. Just I would like to. I'm a history buff. I love history. So does my wife. The night before D-Day, when we had, we we invaded France for the first time and started liberating Northern Europe, he wasn't sure it was going to work. He was in doubt. He wrote a letter. He hand wrote a letter. Just in case it failed, and ba- I, don't, I don't have it in front of me, but basically it was our efforts had failed, something like that. Yeah, and, yeah. And what I he remember. wrote was: imagine the enormity, of the immensity of the pressure on this man. He writes, "The fault lies with me and me alone." He was prepared to take the fall if it didn't work. Imagine the pressure on that, and the balls it takes to put yourself in that position. And he did that. I think mm. Ike also in his younger man days. I think he did. I think he was at one of the Air Force bases here, one of the old ones. I didn't know that. Yeah, back of the twenties. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, and and I'll give you two more. And we'll move on. Mickey Mantle. I think Mickey's got great baseball stories. And Muhammad Ali, another historical figure who did shit that no one's ever had big the balls. balls, big balls, to do. big Ali. elephant balls. So it's hard for me to come up with three. Yeah, you can't come up with three. There's my, there's my, there's my boyfriends. All right, I like it. I like it. Thank you, man. I like it. Um. I'll start off my list with Greg Popovich. No shit. Greg Popovich. Mm-hmm. I want Again, I, only because there's a lot. Even politics aside, mm-hmm. y'all calm the fuck down. Politics aside, there's yeah, a lot you Pop's can learn. Pop's way too over there for yeah, me. Yeah, but yeah. I don't mean I couldn't hang right, with No, there's man. a lot no. you can learn from a guy like Pop. I, let's, let's get something clear. I am not the kind of man that ain't going to hang with somebody who didn't vote for the guy no, I voted for. No, I'm not I, that I guy. That I, got, I, got friends on both, I got friends on both sides. Good. I have friends on both sides. So, yeah. no, I'd, I'd definitely like to have uh, dinner with Greg and Popovich. And I, I, I don't argue politics either. Now, I'll fight for some causes that I believe in that are close I'm to not, my home. But that's, that's different. No, I'm not going to go. Nobody's ever changed somebody's mind in a Facebook political battle. No. So it's a, it's a useless argument. Screw Correct. politics. Because anyway, so I, I got to wake up and go to work the next day no matter who's in office. Now, Pop's got to feel like talking. <laughs> Pop's got to feel like talking, but this yeah. is the thing. If when no, he camera, goes out, he's no out. cameras mm-hmm. are around yeah, and we're yeah. just having wine, we're just shooting the shit and yeah. he gets to telling stories. Yeah. Like, can you imagine some of the shit that Pop has heard and seen over the years and some of the rooms he's been in? Mm-hmm. So, no, I'd love to have dinner with Pop. Yeah. Um, number two, I'm gonna, I got to throw my guy in there. I got to throw Denzel Washington in there. Nice. I definitely got, I mean, my favorite actor of all time, one of my favorite people of all time. Like, guess that's freaking Denzel Washington. I just, I watch all, I've watched all of his interviews like two, three times. Just, you know, acting YouTube is clips. one thing. Yeah. yeah. Acting is one thing, but when you just listen to him speak, you know, when he talked about the Fences cast, like why was it necessary to have an all black cast and all black writer, and black director? He was, like, yeah. it was, he was like, it's not race, it's culture. Like only a black person can really tell you what a hot, like a hot comb mm-hmm. can smell like on Saturday morning when your sister's getting her hair done. It was a culture thing. I have no club. idea what it's you just not, said. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? It's a culture. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a culture thing. Um, I only did three because I, th- I thought it was just a four person dinner. I'm a, probably just the same with you with Eddie Vedder, groupie. I've done whatever he said, do since I was 20. Gotta be Ho, Jigger, Jay Z. Oh, okay. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Jay Z. Jay Z. It's gotta be Ho. I mean, he's a billionaire. I'm a groupie. I'm a Jay-Z groupie. Look, I love Scarface, and I love Pimp uh-huh, C, uh-huh, uh-huh. and I love a- a- Ball, MJG, and Outkast. I'm from the South. I get it. Like, it's, it was always weird for me to be from the South. I and, know more rappers than the fat yeah, boys, no, you dude. Don't. You, uh, we're going to make you rap. We're going to make you. <laughs> I can rap? We're going to make you recite some Let fat me, boy lyrics. I will rap. You know, I can't rap. I will. It's different. What was the movie they were in together? Who? Fat Boys. Oh, I know it. Don't Ooh. tell me. The movie that they kind of starred. I love that, that movie. That they starred in. Were they were they flipping burgers in a restaurant? No. Oh damn it! I know this. It's just been thirty years. It's been forty years. Come on, Mike. Think. Freaking great movie, by the way. I need to watch. I don't know if it's a great movie, but it, it, at the time when we were kids, yeah, it yeah, was. I haven't seen you it since then. Right. But I thought it was great. Yeah. 
fat burger. <laughs> Disorderlies. Oh, son of a they bitch. They were like home nurses or some shit, right? Yeah, they were taking care was, of an old man. That movie was terrible. Yeah, That's it was. I don't it, was awful. It, it was awful. awful. It, but no, Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. He's the king. You, I mean, he's got more skins than anybody ever. Yeah, had. I mean, yeah. he pulled Beyonce. That's just that's just you just put that to the side. Like, he's not the most handsome dude. No. And he pulled Beyonce. They must have had a connection. That wasn't more. <laughs> it went more, beyond the physical. Him. He walks on water. <laughs> so it was always weird for a dude from Tyler, Texas, to worship an East Coast rapper. But I loved East Coast hip hop, and I used to get made fun of for it because it's like, why are you listening to DOS Effects and? Red man, how do you even understand him? They talking too fast. I just always had an, you know, love, love. Me some Reggie Miller. Yeah, I always. One of the a, reasons I, I like you is because you're not predictable. No, I don't. And I yeah, refuse I don't to ever. Work with you will never people. put me in a box. No, yeah. I can get in. I can get in any room and hold my own. But yep. yeah, so Jay, Denzel, and Pop. Okay. And then, and then when you, you since we're doing, you know, one dead guy, BMLK. And I just like to uh-huh. ask him, was it all worth it? Wow. Or should we have stayed segregated? We're better. We're better business wise as a people. Would you have chosen we to live and not have done all that? Golly, mm-hmm. what a question. Like, was it really worth it? Mm-hmm. You know who else I would have said? Jimmy. But Jimmy Johnson? Of course. What other is there oh. another is there another Jimmy? Buffett. Jimmy Buffett, okay. God rest his soul. Yeah. I read this book and I felt like I was having dinner with Jimmy. So no I, did, I didn't mention him today, but yeah, Jimmy's fucking great. Everybody he, loves he's Jimmy. He's the old man that I want to be at this age. What, just the fisherman talking shit? He spends five days a week on a boat in the Keys fishing for mahi-mahi. He gets on an airplane on Friday night, flies to L.A., and talks football for two days, and does it all over again on Monday. That's a great fucking That's life. That's my life. It's a great life. That's the life I want. He's it's a great he's life. He's the old man that I hope to be. It's a great life. Yeah. Okay, we need a name for this segment. It's a good segment. I like it. You do? Get to know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LG, what do you, do you like it? Yeah, that's all right. Shoot it or shoot it or shoot it in We're the head. Gonna, it just, works. This is it like works. year one of the ticket when I was on. We're gonna I'm gonna try a thousand things. Eight hundred to not, know you. Get eight hundred may not work, but I'm gonna try everything. Oh, me too. I just want it whatever this turns into it, I want it to be organic. Are you a foodie? Like are you willing to try everything? Yep. I'm not. We had I, I've, I've grown. My wife has alcohol. made me grow. My wife's made me grow, but mm-hmm. I'm still not where I need to Your be. Your wife seems more. She ain't a trier either, but she's more of a trier she, than me. I don't know her. I'm never. I'm, I'm a met her, but I don't know her. She right. seems like she's. I could see why you'd say she's more willing to try other stuff. Yeah. She, yeah. You're just a stubborn East Texan, yeah. but she'll do it eventually. Yeah, for sure. My yeah. palate's grown. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten so far that you can think of in recent memory? Other than damn tiger man. sushimi, <laughs> nothing, man. I've never tried. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> what is that? Good old OJ. It's, it's just fight through it. Oh, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I I have an infatuation with OJ. I can't explain it. Do you watch him on Cameron and Mace's pot? No, not that <laughs> much. But I do. I, <laughs> I, I I I his Twitter notifications. You have OJ's he, Twitter notifications. When he tweets, I need to hear it. Yeah. Hey, Twitter world. Yours truly here. Hey, Twitter world. <laughs> you are strange. See, this is why it's called get to know you, because like that is strange. I don't I don't condone the man's actions. I just want to drink beer with him and smoke. OJ was the shit in Naked Gun. He was the shit before all that. That was before my time, but I grew up He's, with him as Nordberg in Naked Gun. Yeah, and he you was can't great. just hold one or two things it's against naked, the guy's entire not, life, Groody. Is Naked it's Gun more. good? Hell no. yes. yes no, it is. Naked no, Gun is terrible. Naked Gun sucks. Yeah, Naked Gun was bad. But it, when I was 11. How dare you hate on the great Leslie when Nielsen? When I was 11, it Shout was awesome. Les- yeah, exactly. It's like. Um, oh, crazy. Naked Gun's great. <laughs> Naked Gun 2 is great. Naked Gun 33 and a third is great. Good old day syndrome, right? Like here. Big Trouble Everything Little China. Happened big Trouble was, Little China's fantastic. You Everything see what I'm that saying? happened when I was a kid was amazing. Right. Was, uh, go watch it now. I, uh, you you'll, no way you hate that love. shit. Nah, Big Trouble still holds, big holds trouble. water. It does. Anyway, I love, okay, the scene where OJ's do 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 in the wheelchair. Yes, yeah, great. <laughs> and then flies up. It's hilarious. That was good. He it's, always gets injured in the opening scene. It's right. awesome. Of course. The Hertz black com- man doesn't get injured in the opening scene. Well. That's life. The Hertz commercials <laughs> where he's hurdling the chairs now, trying to make his flight. That was awesome. The juice, baby. That's why he said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. 
he made a couple mistakes yeah. along the way. A couple. But that doesn't mean that I, I'm going to forget all of his all, all of his accomplishments. The justice system is only, <laughs> you know, on point when the, <laughs> nothing. Let me shut up. All Getting right. too comfortable. So that's good. We'll do this often from time to time. We have to. Yeah. Because I had no idea you have O.J. Simpson's Twitter notifications turned on. I had he no idea. He entertains me. I don't understand that. I don't have to condone everything. No, we're not condoning. Do. First of all, the man the man went to trial, I'm stood not- in front of a jury of his peers, and he won and he didn't go to jail. So you don't what is there to apologize Thank for? Thank you, Mark Furman. There's nothing to apologize Racism for. Racism got him off. I'm just saying. Yeah, true. You can kill people in America, but if there's a racist cop involved, it's all good. <laughs> just saying. You ain't Again, you're preaching to the choir. I'm a two thousand yard rusher, and you go okay with me? And I ain't, I'm not gonna. Ha- I didn't put him on my dinner list. I just he entertains. Was, was me. he an honorable mention? No, no. He entertains me. OJ's not. He's full of shit. That's the reason he's funny. I would not be able to get truth out of OJ. He wouldn't be genuine with me. No. And I look. I, I'm just telling you what I heard as a kid. That I I think a lot. It's funny because like when he was going through the trial, mm-hmm. Black America stood up in support of him because they it, it hurt to they did, they they wanted to give him every benefit of the doubt because he was a hero. But in the seventies and eighties, he also heard a lot of shit from black people. But he heard a lot of shit because he distanced he, himself from black people. Correct. I'm not black. I'm OJ. Right. And Which I know what he meant by that. There was no. I know yeah. what he meant by that. Do you get to a certain uh, level of you've fame? You've seen pictures of him and all of his buddies in yeah. L.A. in the eighties. Mm. Well, the thing is that with certain you black saw men, the women that right. They, I mean, He's Tiger's Tiger. Nothing's Michael wrong Jordan's with Michael that. Jordan. Yeah. There's certain black guys that they're so famous they're not black. They're yeah, just yeah. Michael Jordan. And I've said that was. I'm I get not, that. I, that's unfortunate that he took a lot of criticism from the black community because he was coming off as well. You just want to hang out with white people all day. He's a grown ass individual, man. He can do what he wants. White people. There's a fine line on that. As I understand. I, I, mean, I had a lot. I played soccer. All of my friends were white. But but when he was in trouble, what did he do? He went home. You see what he I'm saying? He turned back to Same the people. Like t- Tiger, I'm I'm Cowboy Asian. <laughs> now, now, when your when your ass was when your ass was smashing sixes in yeah. the Waffle House parking lot, the only people who had your back was black dudes. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. now, now, all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you got your fist in the air. But when when you're making billions, you're like, oh, I gotta, you know, make sure I say about all my nationality. No, surely you, you can't be serious. When you get in trouble, you'll find out you're black. <laughs> Trust me, they're I'm gonna remind you. Black. They're I'm gonna remind so you when sick. you get in trouble. All right, we have some very talented black men tonight playing basketball for the Spurs. Who? <laughs> for the San Antonio Spurs. They only have two talented ones. Well, they're all pretty talented. They're in the NBA. Yeah, that's fair. Um, we have Spurs OKC tonight. Wimby versus Chet. Now that's a white ass mother. Is it Wimby versus Chet or Wimby versus Shea? Well, because Shea's the MVP. Me tomorrow. I'm excited to see this matchup. We're probably get killed. I mean, they're not going to play, but they're not going to guard each other. I'm but... ass whipped by Wimby versus Chet for Rookie of the Year, by the way. Why? Because Chet's been in the league a year. I'm sorry he was oh, hurt, yeah, but I'm, he's I'm, been around a year. I Fuck agree with you on shit. that. Wimby's a baby. I agree with you on Fuck that. Fuck that. Wimby's the Rookie of the Year. And I'd say that if we were living in Oklahoma City and I was covering the Thunder every night. We were doing a show there. Wimby Nyama's the Rookie of the Year. Sorry, dude. You got hurt. Technically, His he's a rookie. His team's number one in the West. But you got a you got a red shirt year. You don't get to have a red shirt year and then be Blake the rookie Griffin of the it. year. Yeah, but Wimbenyama wasn't in the league at the same time. Right. Yeah, Wimby's the clear rookie of the year. Period. This yeah. shouldn't even be a I, debate. I don't think, it's, I don't think it's it bullshit. is. Wimby <clears throat> is coming off a hell of a night the other night. They got put under the rug because Embiid had seventy. Wimby had thirty three points and only twenty eight minutes on the floor the other night because of that Danvers minutes restriction. He would have had a he could have Wimby could have had fifty. Yeah, he could have fifty, but twenty eight minutes is the mark. Did you and I talk about this on or off the air? What's I'm that? calling bullshit on this minutes restriction thing. No, I said this yesterday. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah, I'm beaten down by the minutes restriction. Just tell us you don't want him getting hurt. This has nothing to do with the ankle, but they have to play possum with the NBA because <laughs> the, NBA, much bullshit. the NBA gets mad because yeah. they don't want guys load managing. Fuck the NBA. This kid is a once in a generation star. We're so lucky to have him. I don't care if he misses twenty games a year. Yeah, we need it when they when they get good. Whenever that yeah. is, they need him healthy in the playoffs. With your eyes, yeah, your eyes. 
Not the stats. Fuck the stats. Okay. Wim be a better basketball player right now than Chet? Yes or no? Um, I think it's really close. I think so. I think, I think so. he is, right? I think no one's ever done the shit Wimby's doing on the court physically. I think at that size. So, and yeah. this is where the ring stuff comes into play with me. I think we all feel like Wimby's a better basketball Chet's player. Chet's got Shea too. If that's Wimby what I, had no, Shea, that's what I'm saying. So if Chet, and if, if Chet ends up winning two rings and we just can't get it together for Wimby, don't mean Chet's better. No. You see what I'm saying? And sure. that's where the LeBron slurpers of the world come into play because they're like well why are we talking about rings it's just what do you see what do you see do you because my thing is okay yeah Wimby's much better than Chet we think Wimby's a better basketball player but Chet's probably again unless the Spurs find do a full 180 here over the next five six years Chet's probably going to have a better career than Wimby because team of where success. he landed better more team success let's see how and I goes. think we I think Give we those put, Spurs a chance right well, I'll give him a chance. I'm going to give him a fair shake, but I'm just saying well, sometimes you land like Kevin Garnett and Tim Duncan. <clears throat> if we go on history, Oklahoma City won't be able to keep any of their stars or they'll be gone. I think teams they learned their years. lesson. But Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan goes to the better organization. Mm -hmm. And it just looks like he's just head and shoulders better than Garnett, which I don't know if he's head, head not head and shoulders. Right. I loved KG. I loved his attitude. I liked the way he played the game. Carmelo and LeBron. I don't know if LeBron's head and mm. shoulders better than Melo. Just went to a better situation and was able to force his way to different places. Are you a, are you are you an and okay? And I'm saying you're anti LeBron. You said LeBron slurpers twice I'm now. I'm anti as if LeBron Le fan. Okay. There's a difference. This, Why? I love LeBron. Explain that to me. Because his fans before they brush their teeth, before they change their kid's diaper, mm -hmm. before they kiss their wife on the forehead, they go to Twitter, put on a cape, and go defend a grown man. It's unnecessary. They don't even brush their teeth. They don't have breakfast. They don't go. They don't check on their crying kid. The first thing they do in the morning is go defend LeBron James. Do they have LeBron notifications like I have? Hell OG? yes, they do. <laughs> they were they they surpassed Cowboy fan about five years ago as the worst fan base in sports. All right. No, okay. Well, LeBron's just so massive. Right. You're gonna have it's like Cowboy fans. There's 20 million of them. So, of course, a bunch of them are going to be a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, same bid. I like LeBron. I'm a, De I'm a LeBron defender. I love LeBron. I don't, his, him. His slurpers are one thing. His haters piss me off. The people that want to underrate him because he's so popular. And he's so Where global. do you have him? What are you saying? We haven't had this conversation. What are you saying? What I know we're talking about Wimby and Chet. I think he's the greatest basketball player of all time. And I get a lot of shit for that, but I'm not going to change. I don't think Michael Jordan could do the things that LeBron can do physically all around. Did we, are, we, are we upset? I'm not a slurper. I, didn't, I know I you're not. I just think the man's First the best of all, player I've ever you, seen. I know you're not a slurper. There's no, a difference. No, I, I, I might There's be wrong. Difference. I mean, no. but we all know well, who the top tier is. You can, you can rank them however you want. Mike, LeBron, Kobe, Tim, Magic. Uh, whatever. Kareem, yeah, Jamal, whatever. whatever. You, you throw 15 guys in there and then you put we place them. I don't care how you I think rank it's them. subjective. Yeah, it's I, all but subjective. In my opinion, if I was forced to rank them, I would put Mike over. Le I would put LeBron over Mike. Inconceivable. And, and I don't. I, you don't. I don't need you to now. No. Just email me all the times we've had this conversation. Finals, right. You know. Right. We all know his record for it's whatever it is. You you know it, it, this is so easy and fans do this and it's stupid but oh, whatever we're doing it because it's fun. You take LeBron and stick him in that Bulls jersey in the nineties, and they still win those titles. Oh look! Oh, I stumped him. <laughs> LeBron. That the, doesn't make sense. The only LeBron tapped out of the finals against one us time. In, in fourteen. One time. One time. And he was dog shit in twenty eleven against Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. That's what I was talking about. That's what well, I was you remember the tap. Uh, oh, oh, are we are we losing? Oh, it's hot in here. I got a cramp. He pushed out. <laughs> I was there that night. He pushed out in the finals. He has. He's had some. Uh, but that doesn't mean I think he's the most skilled basketball player I've ever seen. All around skill. Mike can't beat him one on one in a game of horse. Michael Taylor, I will lead. I will get this. Michael me. I will get up and walk out of this studio. Don't. Right, hold on. I you can think he's the best think basketball he's the best player, one -on -one but let's ball let's player. watch what we're saying. Like best skilled player, he can't beat Michael Jordan in the game of horse. Are you crazy? I think maybe it's six to four if they played ten times, but I think LeBron would hold his own for sure. I think LeBron's the most skilled player I've ever seen. He could play tight end for the Bears, Rudy. He's so physical, and they're different guys. 
I, we'll do, we'll save this for another day. Oh, that's day. fine. I mean, we'll <laughs> save this for another day. I don't want to lose and the I'm show. Not gonna, by the way, I, I'm, I'm not going to argue rail. with you much I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. Because it's subjective. It's subjective. Yes, right. Everybody, I'm not saying it's like. You got my, some people tell you Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain. See, that's that's silly. Kareem. I love Kareem. Kareem wouldn't be doing it now. He would, he'd be a great player. I love Kareem. Wilt Chamberlain. Hold it's on. Hard so to this know is what we got. This is a bunch this of five is, foot and eleven white dudes from Kentucky. But this is the thing. Kareem would be fine now because he just like what I said. He'd be fine. Yeah, he'd be fine. But no era. one thinks he's top four. No one puts him over LeBron, Michael, or he went eighty eight and one in college, Mike. Yeah, I know. When you could do that in those days, no one can do that now. The the national champion this year will probably have fit twelve losses. It's changed. And we can argue till the end of the Yeah, time. we ain't going to ever come point? to. Yeah, I, what's I the point? But when I'm, being champ. Well, well, don't paint my, me as a slur. No, I won't. I well, love bring LeBron. bring it full circle. I'm not right. in love with him. So bring it, yeah. <laughs> so bring it full circle. And LeBron, and the, you throw on social media and the yeah. hype and the spotlight. Mike never had to deal with that. See, now you're trying to piss me off. See, you, I thought we were going to stop and oh, now you keep bad. going. Okay. Another time. No. But, well, let's talk about that. Oh, you don't God, think Mike dealt with that? No. Not like LeBron does. Also, I, no, he didn't. Do, not on the social. He didn't have social media. He didn't even have cell phones. Mike went six and zero partying all night. Great. LeBron has steroids and masseuse and HGH and Wait a million. That's, and that's that's unsubstantiated. Opinion. Okay. Opinion. That's my opinion. I have no facts to back that up. Right. Don't sue me. I think I'm Michael's saying, number two all with, time with HGH and, and with HGH and steroids mm-hmm. and all this stuff. Yeah, LeBron's played a long time. He yeah, played longer that's than the anybody. The other thing, the longevity. At the same age, Michael was not able to score 35 a night the way LeBron is now. I just told you I don't care about drugs. No, that doesn't bother me true. at all. Mike should have done them. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He at I saw Michael with the Wizards. It was sad. <laughs> LeBron is older than Michael was when he was with the Wizards. And look, what the Lakers have the wins they do because of him, not that pussy-ass unibrow or anybody else they got on that team. Yeah, screw unibrow. Yeah, anyway. Screw that dude. But no, that's the reason We're I'm saying. We're talking about vanilla and chocolate here. I like both flavors. Don't me get too. me wrong. Yeah, I think both could be true. And I, I think love both of them. We've done, we've done both of them a disservice with the debate over the years. Stupid. because It's stupid because we, we really sit around and. But it's fun. Make up reasons to talk bad about Michael Jordan. Like, think about how crazy that is. And I don't like is. to do that. Me neither. But I'll say this. But you painted him. You made me do it. You're kind of, yeah, I, you, you're slurping you, a bit. You you're made, slurping a bit. See, you, you're, see bit now, you're slurping see, a bit. I'm on my knees for LeBron, and I'm hating on Michael. I and I don't want to do either one. When I say I slurping, like okay, hold on. Let me say this. When I say slurping, I mean Kool-Aid. I'm not talking about from oh, his slong. Oh, Hell okay. no. I would never disrespect oh. another man that way. Oh. I'm talking about like <laughs> sipping a LeBron Icy. Hey, Not as slow. But that. Chet and Wimby, what I'm saying is, we know <laughs> Wimby's better, but Chet may be have a better career. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Chet that's, Wimby. That's, to bring it full circle, that's yeah, why yeah, I maybe. asked you the question, because he's in a better situation. Well, and as down as I am right now on Oklahoma's Spurs. Oklahoma's the one seed in the I, West. Look, I'm not happy with Spurs management right now, and it's time to get a new head coach. It Well, it certainly will be. Who? 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 Okay, and that's not a shot. Explain at, that. And that's not just a shot at Pop. He's 75 years old. That's, he can't coach till okay. Wimby's 30. So this, let me see who the Spurs replace Pop with when Pop walks away. Um, let me see how let's see if Brian Wright can recover from some of the dumbass money he's given out the last couple yeah, of Brian's, years. Brian struggled. Yeah, to, to say it like yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am gonna, and of course, I'm I'm a fan. So I'm listening. I'm home. I'm, there's some bias. I trust that organization to figure it out. With Wimby. They're not going to mess that up. They're going to figure out a way to get that fixed. Wimby's two good players away from them winning 50 games. That's how good he is already. Now, I'm not counting Michael Finley. I'm not counting Brent Berry. I'm not counting Robert Ory. I'm not counting Kevin Willis as guys wanting to come play with Tim. They were old. They were ring chasing. But the guys that the Spurs, the few guys that the Spurs chase in their youth, Mm -hmm. while they were still young, they never landed them. Does will Wimby change that? Again, I hope so. I hope. I'm, but will I'm, guys I'm, want I'm, to play in San Antonio to come play with Wimby? I've yet to meet one. 
that chose to come. The here. only one that came in his Aldridge, prime was the Aldridge, and they had to beg him to do it because he right. really wanted to go to the Suns. And if, right. if it weren't for a fateful air, apparently an overnight flight from LA to Dallas with Ime Udoka in his ear, Aldridge was going to when they landed, he was going to announce he's going to Phoenix. And in hindsight, I wish he had would have saved us a lot of grief and wasted time. Yeah. I don't know. Are people still going to want to come down here because of Wimby? I don't know. I'm talking about young guys. I'm not. T- Again, I don't count like people say, well, people wanted to come play with Tim. Yeah, a bunch of old dudes that were trying to get a ring. I don't right. count them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Spurs are going to have to draft their way to the title again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm cool with that. No, but, then, wow. but, but the thing about that is, though, that takes time. I, I look at Denver. Correct. It, it takes time. time. Golden For State, sure. it took time. And that's okay. Milwaukee, it took time. Well, that's what happens when you're not one but of you the But you got to draft the right you're guy. You're not one See, of the L.A. teams or Miami. Nobody wants to go. But to be fair, nobody wants to go to Milwaukee, Indiana, New Orleans, Sacramento no, either. Absolutely We're not. one of 25 teams nobody wants to play for. <laughs> Everybody leaves those teams. So we got to do it through the draft. And let's see how Oklahoma does keeping these dudes they've traded for and drafted now. We'll see. Yeah, you got to keep Giddy, Chet, Shea. Yeah. And the other guy, Daniels. Yeah, they'll probably smoke us tonight. But, you know, give this thing a couple of They have the MVP on their team. Um, I do want to get another quick late punch in. You need one more punch? Punches of the day brought to you by the law office of Orlando. Who you want to punch? I want to punch Greg Popovich. The guy I want to go to dinner with, you want to punch him. Tell I me do. why. I do, and I understand why you want to go to dinner with him, but that means he can't be punched on occasion for things he makes mistakes on. Let's do it. The other night before, who'd they play the other night? Philly. Before the Philly game, he called Trey Jones the <laughs> heart and soul of the team now. We went from... <laughs> We don't want you to start so bad. We're going to force Jeremy Sohan into point guard, knowing this kid's like, I don't want you. You fuck Jeremy Sohan up for three months. Mentally. He's finally getting back to his usual self, and he's been playing better ball. Agreed. And the whole time, oh, well, Jeremy sucks. Well, they go ahead. Now, okay, now you'll play the only point guard you have. Oh, no, we're going to go to Malachi Branham or whatever. Yeah, they went to Malachi for what a while. What are we doing? Punch Greg Popovich for taking forever to do the obvious and play the only true point guard you have. And since he's been on the floor, Wimby's had the best two weeks of his season so far. Yeah, he did I'm, take. No one's saying Trey Jones is going to be the point guard for no. 15 years, but he's what you have now, and we're trying to develop this kid and win a few games if we can. Punch Pop for being the last guy in the city to recognize Trey needs to be starting at point guard. Did you agree? One thousand percent. Come on, man. One thousand percent. It took you three months to come to that realization. Obvious. I mean, you just paid him. Yep. Like, first of all, let's go back to Brian. Right. Let's go. You talk about Jeremy. Never. It's not his fault. Never should have been drafted ninth overall. Under no circumstances should he have been drafted ninth overall. That's on Brian. Right. Yeah, you that's on got Brian. a pretty good case that's for that Brian. right now. That's I, on Brian. Give, it, give this two more years, but right now, yeah. No, I'm number good. nine, hell no. Not number nine. I'm not saying he, should, he shouldn't have been starting, but, I mean, he shouldn't have been a point guard, but I'm just saying he shouldn't have been ninth overall. Then you go to Malachi, who, even though he's undersized, he's a two at heart. So you tried out two guys for three months that mm-hmm. never really played PG. And yep. I don't care what anybody says about Malachi, Ohio State. Yeah, he brought the ball up a lot. He's not a point guard. We mm-hmm. found that out. Then you sign Trey Jones to an extension this summer, and it takes you three months to realize he's the best option. Yeah, I'm not mad at that punch. I'll take that punch over punching CD Mom, CD Lamb's mama. I like this punch better, okay. even though I want to go to dinner with Greg Popovich. CD's mom should be punched. Yeah, she can't do that. You can't do that. You also put your son in a bad way. A huge, yeah. Yeah, he don't want to hear that. Yeah, now especially now when he's about to go ask Jerry for thirty million a year. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, they, we had some good punches today. We didn't even talk to any football outside of the stupid well, ass I was, Cowboys. Well, I wanted to say football for Thursday, Friday. Okay. Let's do a lot of football tomorrow and Friday. We're closer to the games. I think I got a lot of stuff on the championship games that, we, that I, we'll I, yeah, do. There, people are going to make me root for the Chiefs because I've never seen a young lady attack the way this young lady's being attacked just because she's Taylor? super popular. I'm like, damn, like, I'm just seeing posts, Lamar's our last hope. <laughs> I'm like, damn, like, I don't even like, like Where's rooting. Lee Harvey Oswald when you need yeah, him? Yeah, I don't even like rooting for the Chiefs. But, damn, what did Taylor do? 
It's not her fault the NFL is taking advantage. The NFL is y'all are mad at Taylor when you should be mad at the uh the NFL. That's who you should be mad at. If they go to the Super Bowl, they'll just let her play the halftime. Who is it this year? Usher. Usher. Oh, I like Usher. That. Let her go out there and play with Usher. Yeah. Yeah. He had new tunes last year. Yeah, he does. He has a Vegas residency. Oh, okay. I like so to see that. So it kind of fits. I'd like to yeah, see he that. roller skates around the stage and shit. It's fire. Yeah, I like I've seen it on tape. I, I haven't like been there. The tickets are like right. a thousand. So more for football nosebleeds. talk tomorrow on Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up being a Swifty this weekend because I don't, look, I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. I don't know any of her songs, but well, I can't got stand kids and... I can't stand around and watch someone get bullied. It's just not in my nature. If I see someone getting bullied, I get pissed, and she's being bullied, and all because the NFL is making a buck off of her. Y'all mad at the wrong person, but that's good. That but that's because we're mostly NFL sheep. NFL sheep or oh NFL sheep bother the fuck out of me too. We're crackheads and they're the crack dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NFL is a bunch of sheep. NFL fans a bunch of sheep. Oh, it was a great game. You know, it wasn't. It was uh, ten to seven. One, that game fucking sucked. Oh, well, crack, but a crack rock. Okay, I've I've compared the NFL to a crack dealer for fifteen years. The product, all the you've never get, really cared. Not you've liked the NFL, but you've always called a spade a spade on the NFL. Like hey, college is better. Crack, you've always away. been a more Saturday guy. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. In the last couple of seasons, I've been able to watch more non-Cowboy football, but there was a stretch there. You didn't watch anything else, right? <clears throat> Not. It was hard. Watching Steelers-Browns on a rando November Sunday, well, and that's the noon window game because yeah. Dallas was at 325. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. Didn't have that star on well, the helmet. Well, now we get bored. to watch the Texans. You like watching CJ, right? I love watching Me CJ. Me too. Here's what's happened. We've had a lot of young stars come into the NFL the last three years. Unfortunately, a lot of them are fucking getting hurt. The quarterback position is mm. awesome right now. And therefore, and, but th- now, now this year's different because all these guys got hurt. So we had like fucking third stringers playing third stringers and stuff, which messed up the season a little bit. But no, the NFL is more entertaining now than it was there for about 10 years. It That's was fair. awful. Because they were going to great lengths for parity, and they finally got parity. Now they're figuring out. And also the quarterback position has changed even more. It's more fun to watch them play quarterback. Yes, it's so much fun to watch great quarterbacks that are all around players. It's awesome. What about Detroit? What about Detroit? I like watching Detroit. They they entertain me. It's not a letdown for you. You're a guy that's like big on the matchup and the big being big and being huge. It being San Fran, Detroit, and not a letdown. No, I like Detroit, and part of that's because I like Dan Campbell. That's right. But if it were you know Wayne Font still coaching the Lions, it, I wouldn't. It wouldn't have as much juice for me. But it's Dan Campbell. It's a good story, and you know the whole fifty years since we won anything. And it's a different color scheme. You know, I used to be an elitist when it came to sports. Like, I'd give me L.A., New York, and Chicago, right. Miami. If it ain't that, I ain't watching. And by the way, it's still like that. Denver, Denver, Indiana finals ain't getting any ratings. Lakers, Knicks, best ratings ever. Whoa. That's the way it goes. I, and I was kind of, and I'm, and I'm that way too. I get it, right? Uh, but not as much. I guess I've gotten older. It's funny you mentioned this because I haven't thought about this in a while. I think I enjoy pro ball more now than I did in my 30s. I, I was a front. If it wasn't my no, team, no, I used to listen to I you. Got, and I remember you would you would beat the NFL up quite a bit. Yeah, it was boring. Yeah, and it was. I and I did not like the unpredictability of it. But because of gambling, that's exactly what they want. That's all it's about. That's all their sure. numbers and ratings are about is fantasy and gambling. Right. That's it. And I didn't like it at first, and it took me a while. But I, I just, I would argue that the league has been like the it's game. Grown. It's more. It's more. It's more entertaining the actual game than it was there for a minute. It stagnated for a while. But you do know no one watched the Rangers and D-backs. You know that, right? Yeah, but I don't give a shit because that's my Rangers. <laughs> exactly. Had that been D-backs and yeah. Marlins or I don't <laughs> you know, D-backs and either. Orioles? No. Well, not like that. No, we watched. It was we, me and Nina. We didn't miss a pitch of the World Series, and we didn't miss but about one or two innings of the ALCS. That girl loves baseball. Oh. That's part of the reason why I'm, I told you I've enjoyed I enjoyed baseball more than I have in a long time. I had somebody to watch it with. She's down to watch baseball every night. She was like, "Let's go to the missions game." When tonight? Oh, okay. So, like Nina helped me rekindle my love for gotcha. baseball. And when I started watching it every night, 
I got that old feeling. That old, that was a little, that old fling. That back. old fling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, Mike helped. Taylor, Jr., second base. And then that turned into Rangers Astros in the ALCS. I mean, this fucking great. That was perfect. Was awesome. For yeah, Texas, I, for sure. I rooted for both. I'm a, and I know this is, if no, you're from too. the Metro Sex or Houston, your enemies, not me. I like both those clubs. Me too. And I enjoyed what I did. I couldn't have cared less. I now, I will say it meant more to me that the Rangers went ahead and won it because Houston already has, and that was their first. And because of my family, you know, my grandma who passed in 1991 made me watch the damn Rangers every time we were together for 15 years in the late seventies, all through the eighties, I suffered through all that terrible Ranger baseball. So I, I would have, I, my thoughts were with her when they won Makes the world sense. series. I, you can ask him, I teared up on the, on the show that night. Yeah, We did a post game show cut in for members, I think. And I called my dad on the air, and I I didn't I am like whoa what are you what's what, going what, on I'm crying what am I doing I, I just hearing my pops I got emotion yeah I need to pull that drop because you're like <laughs> that's my that's my dad <laughs> <laughs> asshole what an ass He's, but hey that's what friends are for bro. If he wasn't busting your balls, he ain't your homie. But now the Rangers have won one, so that innocence, the, sen- the, cherry the sentimental got part of it, busted. Is over. Right, That's probably a four way to say that, but Jesus. you know what I mean. Yeah, I got you. Uh, so ne- next year, I'm just going to enjoy the game. And, and baseball now has there's so many young stars in baseball now, uh, and it, they, they have a there's a there's a renaissance. Well, they're all on the damn yeah. Dodgers. Well. Which is why it's sweeter when they didn't win and the Rangers did, led by an ex Dodger. How great was that? Anyway, it was awesome. We didn't even get to man entertainment news. See, this we're in an experimental phase. We'll get here. there. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, NFL and man entertainment news. Let's do it. We're gonna re and so I didn't want to bring all my old bits back over um, to the news show. We have, I haven't done man entertainment news in a while. But with you coming over, I felt like let's do it. Let's do a man entertainment news. And the only reason I quit doing it is because I was going. I went solo there for gosh, almost six months. Well, I mean, LG's in the room, but you know, what I'm saying like I didn't have a like we didn't. I, so <laughs> that's a two man segment, man And with in and with in his input, with a two man room will be even better. He's better when there's two of us in the room. Because he's got takes on shit that you and I will talk and about. He can still focus on what he has to do. Yeah, on his end. But yeah. Just it's a <clears throat> man entertainment. It's an ensemble segment. For what gotcha. it is. And so now that you're in the room, I've decided, and we've decided as a company in the show to resurrect man entertainment news starting tomorrow. One of my favorite segments from right. the Taylor Show. Thank you, man. So we're gonna bring it back. Let's we're gonna, do it. Just, we're, I want to hear. This would be cool to do this segment with you for the first time. Um, because I, because I think our musical tastes, and I think we'll we'll find more things out about each other. You know, yeah, we're still getting to know each other. Dude, we've been on the air over two hours. Today it went felt like quicker. an hour. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it now. So yeah, let's end it. Yeah, it's my company. Normally he plays that. Ex- yeah, I know. I was waiting. No, it's good. I hear it. Look at our look at the. I'm 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 so happy y'all have come over and watched this show. What happened? What are you looking at? What am I supposed to be looking oh, at? Oh, it's our live viewers. Oh, I'm just looking at the comments. Hits, I didn't even pay attention to that all number. All this kind of thing. Yeah. I was look, just looking at the But this is what box. I expected when I when we got together. So we got to just keep it rolling. Keep it moving. Now we and for and most people that watch us now are old school watchers of both of us. Let's build this some bitch together, y'all. Let's build it. Make us come. look good in front of the clients. That's how you Tomorrow. make this thing evolve. So we got the faith of Texas Cheer Liquor in this show. Let's reward Mr. Singh's faith in these this show. Y'all show up at Texas Cheer Liquor tomorrow. We got food. We got four allocations at retail. You got to come in there and say it to get one. And um, swag out the ass. Yeah, we got swag. Make us look good. We got a push-up challenge. Go have a good time. Good time. You won't fantastic. have to commute so far tomorrow. No, I'll be down the street, baby. <laughs> I'll be down the street. I'll My still ass be. is going to be re- re- commuting. That's all right. Yeah, it'll be all, all right. right. We're done. Thank you, Thunderdome. Thank you, everyone that's watched this. Thank you to the new subscribers and members. Love y'all hard. Y'all come out there tomorrow to Texas Cheer Liquor. Make us look good. All right? All right. Thank you to DJ LG. See you, boys, manana. This program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you.
you still here? It's over. Go home. Go.